Okay, okay. I think... Oh, wrong mouse. Uh, I think we're good to go. Move on. Sorry about that. Sorry for the late start. Like, 40 minute late start. Uh, I had... I overslept. And I also had tech issues. So, yeah. That's on me. My bad. Let me swap it over. Let me get this going. Sorry, the volume was on with the TV. Had to turn that off. And there we go. Okay. Now let's get this started. Okay. Last time on Thousand Year Door. We spent a lot of time uh, helping out the tr uh, the people of Realport with their troubles, and then we started Chapter Two and got Flurry's uh, got Flurry's necklace back from the Shadow Sirens. I'm still gonna call them Shadow Sirens. And now we are on our way back to give the necklace back to Flurry. You gonna turn off the dark and effective settings? Yeah, I, I get it. I probably should turn it off, but normally it's like, normally I don't mind it, but because it's a power saver thing, especially on portable, but maybe I should turn it off. I just never really thought about it too much, but yeah, like it, this, the darkened settings will turn on like on a very long cutscene in like a Fire Emblem game, you know, and that's when it gets really annoying. But yeah, I should turn off the, I probably should turn off the darkened settings. So yeah, last time we we beat the Shadow Sirens. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the Three Shadows. I'm, I'm not a fan of that name. <laughs> it, it's lame. Shadow Sirens is a better name. Uh, yeah, I beat, we beat them. We got the necklace back. But then I backtrack. I backtracked because I had enough uh, star pieces. So I got so I got myself quick change. With quick change and flower finder. I like what my badges are looking like right now. So we're on our way back to recruit Flurry. Or, uh, you know, give her back her necklace. <clears throat> I knew you'd come back. Alright, let's get back to it. I mean, I had no other choice, Punio. I knew no other choice. What? You're here! Huh. Bonjour, Merni. I came to warn you about that the three shadows were heading here. Alors, it, it looks like I am too late. It's totally gr That's that totally gross guy, Dupree. What the heck is that guy doing here? Oh my gosh, you don't think he followed us here because he's infatuated with me, do you? And that's not a brag. Believe me, I would love to be wrong. Again, it's okay when he he hits on Goombella, but it's not okay when the Goombas do it. I don't like that change. <laughs> I think it's stupid. And I can't believe this is an example of inconsistent censorship. Instead of just normal censorship. Anyway. But yeah, what's been going on, Act? What's been going on? Actually, I got a question for you, Act, about uh, RE4. Maybe she's not into other Goombas? Well, she's not into Tupri, either. I actually have a question for you about RE4, the remake. In the original RE4, there is a glitch that lets you move faster. I think it has to do with, like, using the gun, like the pistol, and opening the menu at the same time, and when you do that, like, your movement speed increases? Is there a glitch like that in the remake? I have to know. Also, Act, how is the... How's the audio sounding? Is there any issues?
There wasn't a PC update. There wasn't an update to my PC, but you never know. That would be fine. No, where are the glitches? Okay. The reason why I asked is because in the... In every version of RE4 other than... Uh, the remake... As far... You know, before the remakes. The movement glitch has a very funny side effect. Sounds fine to you? Good, good. Just double checking. And again... If, if the audio's ever off to you when you, you whenever you come in, just let me know, because I can't always tell. But yeah, one of my favorite things about the RE4 movement glitch in the older versions is at the speedboat scene, Leon gets on the speedboat faster than normal, and then just leaves Ashley behind. It's funny. <laughs> anyway. Oh, poor, poor me. When, oh, when will I see my precious necklace again? Oh, you delightful fellow. You found my necklace. I am besi I'm beside myself, truly. But you still mustn't see me. Please leave the necklace by the door and wait a moment. Yeah, the speedboat thing it is funny. It is a funny visual glitch. I was kind of hoping that was still kept in. Oh, splendid, splendid. My, oh my, my oh so ravishing necklace, I a wash in joy. I'm a washed in joy. God. <sighs> this design. <laughs> what? Tell me, act. Were you weirded out when you first saw Flurry? As I was. Because they're just, they're just hanging out there right in the open. <laughs> oh, oh my word, Mario, isn't it? Are you my heroic little, little necklace hunter? Well, my, 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 aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Yes, indeed. I simply must thank you for your graciousness. But how to do it? Hmm. Perhaps if I grabbed you and give you a little sugar. Can you be more specific? I mean... The chesticles are just hanging out in the open. I think that's kind of obvious. <laughs> I was not expecting this, uh, this design for a Mario game. <laughs> oh, Mario, you are just the cutest little thing I've ever laid eyes on. Yes, you are. And th and that's that. So tell me, are you looking for the crystal stars? The very same crystal star s stars spoken by all the lowlifes of Rogueport. Hmm, a danger-filled search for, for beautiful jewels. How absolutely marvelous! And here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a change. And besides, I do declare that I, that plus that pl plush mustache of yours has completely swooned me. As a man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble, and I want to keep you safe. So I dare say I'll be joining you on this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario. I was always weirded out by Flurry's design. <laughs> Let's just say it's very striking. By pressing X, Flurry will exhale a strong gust of wind that can blow things away. Hold down X to uh, to blow the paper away. If she blows in the direction of an enemy, she can make its head spin for a bit. Hold X down to make the he their head spin. That concludes this primer. Yeah, I get it. I mastered them. She can also squash enemies in battle with a body slam, or blow them all away with gale force. This is wonderful! It is so nice that Flurry likes you. Mario, really, it's great. And even more importantly, Flurry's chosen chosen to join us. Let's go to the Great Tree. 
I'll say this. I think Flurry is one of my least favorite party members. I usually always bench her <laughs> as soon as like I get other members that I feel like that are that I can use. Granted, in this chapter, Flurry is useful, so I end up using her. But like most of the time, if I have alternate ways of attacking enemies, I just don't use Flurry. <laughs> That's just me. Because, like, she'll be useful for attacking enemies that are on the ceiling. Granted, I have Quake Hammer, so now that doesn't matter. But, like, I think she's the only party member that can do that? Bring you all, uh, all the up-to-date moment news as it happens. We have details of yet another incident at the parlor in West Rokeport. Outraged by the high Pianta prices, Goofrey is suspected of violently shaking the Pianta Changer, accusing, accusing the Pianta Changer's alarm to sound, or causing the Pianta Changer, uh, whatever, which led to the Pianta Changer ceasing to function for a brief period. The parlor was forced to close down tempor temporarily. The victim was quoted as saying, I am, I am a machine. No matter how hard I am shook, I feel no pain. End of interview. Get all the hottest shopping news about the, all the hottest shopping spots in the world. If Petalburg is your desti destination, you can't miss the shop that's been in the talk of the town for the last 20 years. Nifty Shop. The friendly owner has long been uh, thought to be the most eligible bachelor in town. But word is he's secretly in love with the girl at the inn. The wise and witty shopkeeper had this to say. You can only live once, so enjoy it while you can. Shop now at a good old, at good old Nifty Shop. <laughs> Interested in cook cooking, but don't know what to cook? Try our chef's delicious suggestions. Today's yummy recipe, mushroom fry. Just season your mushrooms, saute them up, and they're ready for the dinner table. We hope you enjoy RDM's premiere issue. You can look forward to future editions coming your way soon. Yeah, the little bit of, I guess, world building. Who knew that the shopkeeper in Pelberg was interested in the innkeeper? Oh, you weren't here before. Do you have new stuff to tell me? That I probably already know. What do charms do? Marley the Charmer? Okay, yeah. Got Flurry. Yep, okay. Nothing that I don't already know, honestly. Alright. So, we need to go up here. That's a funny joke. That's the secret entrance! We can finally get inside! Here I go! Yeah, I mean, a secret entrance is not gonna just say it a uh, secret entrance. There's not gonna be a sign for it. Are punies just the most precious little things? I feel I must ask. Did you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? I was a diva of the stage. I was known as Madame Fleury the world over. But the filthy air outside the spotlight repelled me, so I came to the woods. And soon enough, I glimpsed, I glimpsed the beauty of these punies and their pure little hearts. It reminded me of my own innocence as an actress, and that made me realize I shall ever love the stage. I must feel the spotlight shine on me again. I must. As you can see, these dear little punies helped me find my true self. That's why I must help them however I can before I go on my own adventures. Mario, can you hear me? Check it out! I was able to open it from the inside! Come on, over here! The time has come for me to repay my debt uh, to the punies. Come along, Mario. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm sorry, I forgot my water. I probably should have water on me. It is also very muggy. Give me a second, be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Normally, I have my water already here beforehand, but oh well. I want to make sure to have water next to you, you know? You always gotta hydrate. Let's go on to the great tree. Go inside. I will. Wait a minute. Bella, what do you got to say about the great tree? It's like another world inside this tree, huh? And check it out, these statues. They must be left by the ancestors of the punies. I wonder how many years the punies have lived in this place anyway. These are the kinds of questions archaeologists have to ask, you know. Right. Hammer it. I th I'm so used to the GameCube version where I think you just have to examine it. Uh, hmm. Weird. Normally everyone's right here. What the hey? Hey! Elder! Everybody! Come out! Hello? Oh no, x knots well, Who are you guys? How'd you get in here? Whoa, dude, is that... Isn't he that Mario guy? What? He is? We better get... We better get him. But dude, Lord Crump told us to tell him immediately if we found Mario, remember? <clears throat> you idiot, use your head. If we capture him, we'll get all the credit, man. Duh. Oh yeah, right on! Let's rock this cr chump! One, two, three, break! <laughs> All for that promotion. And our first time fighting S x knots Time to tattle on them. What do we got? That's an x knot It says uh, here he's classified as an enemy combatant. That description stinks. You think it means they're just low-level foot soldiers. HP 4, attack of 3, defense of 0. They treat these potions that make them all big and burly. Then they attack. One's easy, but if, they, if there's two or more, better watch out. Use your partner's moves and attacks and attack partner's moves and items to take them down. Alright. Let's just... Let's power jump. Get rid of one. There we go, super guard. Okay, head bonk. There we go. Easy. Easy. C Crud, that stung, man. Dude, maybe reporting back to Lord Crump isn't such a bad idea after all. Of course, they locked the door behind me. Pretty slick work handling those guys, Mario. Seriously, way to go. But the question remains, where did everyone go? Who could possibly make everyone leave? Finally, somebody shows up. What are you doing hiding back there? Come out, for Pete's sake. I found us a powerful ally. He, he's huge. Uh, are you sure your huge mustachioed man won't try to eat us? Huh? Hey, who's that? Who else is back there? So, I don't like him. He'll crush us, danger. Nice stash. It scares me so early. Now, don't worry, everyone. This is Mario, and he's our friend. He's here to help. All those bad guys? Mario will stomp every one of them. Just like those last goons. Isn't this it? There are so few. Well, we'll have to make do. Let me formally introduce Mario. Wait. Ah, there we go. How do we really know this burly fellow is our ally? He might be one of them. Puniper, what are you saying? He's not one of them. Listen, we can fight alongside Mario and chase these goons out of here. We could take the we could take back our tree. Ah, big bad Punio. Listen to yourself, trying to sound all important like. You have no idea the kind of troubles we've been through while you were gone. Wait, wait, 
And why are there so few of you here anyway? What happened to everyone? Well, they've been captured by those goons. The Elder, everybody, including your sister. What? Putini, uh, Petuni? Everyone was captured and taken somewhere within this big tree. They said it was because we wouldn't tell them where to find some crystal thing. We told them we never heard of it. Oh. Well, that absolutely tears it. We've all got to look for them right away. What are you saying, Punio? We can't do anything about to those giant goons. Adding this hairy old man to our ranks won't help a bit. Confirmed. Mario's over 20 years old. He's an old man. <laughs> He's not a shonen protagonist. <laughs> Granted, he owns a house, but you know. Mario's probably like 25, so in anime terms, he's an old man. Can you, how can you say that? You can't know that. We have to try, don't you see? Think about it. If we all get together, we can take on anyone, anywhere. So who's with me? Come on, everyone, let's pull our strength. Ha, Punio, Punio, Punio. You have to convince me because I think you're losing it. What? You and Mr. Mustache there can get the revolution started. If you can free our friends who got locked up somewhere in the tree, then I'll join your little crusade. Ha! Huh, like that will ever happen. Please. Fine, we'll show you. Right, Mario? Right? Come on, follow me to glory. Let's go help him. Alright. I'll go to hiding. What do you have to say? Uh, I say again, ha, by all means, help our friends. Or are you quitting now? Tell me, tell me there's no hope? That it's impossible? That's Puniper of the Poonies. He sure is big for a puny. Too bad his head is too big, too. All right, getting right to it. So, uh, one thing that I forgot to, like, talk about last time was, uh, I was gonna talk about the Shadow Sirens, but now that I'm thinking about it, I think it might be better to, like, talk about the Shadow Sirens once we get to a later chapter, when I think more information will be available. So, because part of it is, like, I need, I want to see some of the dialogue that will be in a later chapter. So, I think I'll save the discussion for the Shadow Sirens for them. Maybe. Unless we want to talk about that now. It's all good. Uh, temporary boost a party member's attack power. Let's get... Uh, let's get rid of the mystery. Key snaw. Again, I love that there's new remixes. Alright, let's get rid of the x knot with the attack boost that I don't need. Thanks, game. Wow, it's plus three. Man, if only Mario could attack again. But I gotta title this guy. That's a yucks. It says here it... It's a creature created in the X-Not Labs. HP of 3, attack of 2, defense of 0. According to this, attacks and items won't affect it if it has a mini yucks around it. So if any mini yuxes appear, take those for out first. Duh. Yeah, go on and attack. Super guard. Now a mini yuck should appear. There we go. go and title that, too. That's a mini Yux. A creature made to protect a Yux. It can split into two. Max HP of one, defense of zero. Seems like they won't attack directly. These twerps are the reason you sometimes can't do any damage to the main Yux. They're a pain, but you have to beat them before the Yux. Flurry's pretty effective. She is? Huh. Now... I did say I normally bench Flurry, but I hear Flurry's pretty good with her, uh, I think it's Gale Force avail ability. And that's something I feel like I should try to mess around with. First, let's just have Mario get rid of the mini yucks. 
Maybe try to find a, a better use for Flurry, you know? Bingo! Max HP heal. Not that it's needed. Well, Goombella recovered at 2 HP, I guess. So it was worth it. Let's continue going through the tree. We're inside the great tree. Looks like a lot of tufts are of vegetation around here. Stuff could be hidden in those things, so let's make sure to check each one, okay? So I think I can go to Flurry now. I'll try using Flurry. Wait, that didn't start the fight? That's new. Normally when you get hit by him like that, it just starts the fight. As a preemptive. But I guess you just take damage. Unless I'm misremembering. So, attack all enemies with a powerful gust of wind. Let's try this. So it blows them away, but okay, wait a minute, look down there, you still get the star points for it. Okay, I can see the use of Gale Force. I always thought Gale Force just kind of got rid of them, but you didn't get the... Like, it, it would get rid of them, but it didn't give you the star points for them. So, Gale Force is a lot more useful than I thought. Costs a lot, but it's more useful. That's good to know. I think we found I found the real use for Flurry. Because that was the move I really wanted to test out. Elder! How come the Elder is in her own cage by herself? It's a pretty big cage. Ponyo, is that you? You're looking well. Why are you so calm, Elder? You're trapped, and this is our daring rescue of you. Oh, re rescuing, is it? Well, thanks, I suppose. Those are quite exciting. But I think you ought to help the other punies before you rescue me. Where are the others? Hmm, let me think. Where was I? Ah, oh, yes, right. Your question. The rest of the punies, unfortunately, are locked away in the other cell. I don't mind telling you. Those uncouth, vile goons just have no consideration whatsoever for the elderly. None. None, I tell you. Honestly, I have to ask. What a puny like a puny like me is supposed, supposed to do in a situation like this, I ask you. Please, I want to know. But anyway, Punio, listen. Yes, listen to your elder. I have to say something. Vital to you. Listen up. Hmm, let me think. Where was I? Ah, yes, right. Your question. Oh, okay, I think we looped. Big brother, is that you, po my Punio? Petuni, thank heavens. You're here. You're safe. I knew you'd come for me, Punio. I just knew it. Of course I would, dear sister. And I've brought us a, a mighty ally. Look at him! He has a great mustache! That's how you know he's a great guy. We're going to get you out of here right away. I swear, you just hold tight a second. Okay. I'm pretty sure they can fit through those bars. Like, even without being cursed. Mario, listen, we gotta find the cell keys or we're going nowhere. Let's see. Let's see what Goombella has to say. There's a red cell and a blue cell here. Crump must have made them in, uh, to hold the prun punies. With gaps like those between the bars, 
I think we all we all get through though. I mean, I could get through. Did they nab you too, Mustache? Or would you just rather spend your time sitting in a cell with me? As the elder that Puniper mentioned, you gotta be the re real old to be called elder. Being trapped in here can't be good for her health. Let's hurry up and help her. There must be different dialogue for the elder once we save, because that was very specific for her being for the elder being the cell. Ah yes, I'm in the cell too. I we are all trapped. How'd you get in here when you're so big, huh? That's Punio's sister, Petuni. She really cares about her brother. I mean, you could just feel her love for him. I feel totally awful that she's all trapped in here. Let's hurry up and help her and the rest of them, okay? Eh. Man, this is brutal. How much longer till we find that stupid crystal star? Not even those pu uh, puny punies we captured know anything about it. And they live here! And worst of all, I got stuck holding onto this stupid cell key. Ooh. So bored. Feels like a big old nap is in my near future. Oh. Ouch. Oh, well, isn't this a treat? We must stop meeting like this, don't you think? Hey, stop right there, Missy. You're that thieving girl we saw before. What are you doing here? Well, anyway, I heard there were nice badges to be found here, so I came looking. Mario's a ladies' man. Even Gubella shocked about this. Again. <laughs> but who cares about that? Lovely to see you again. Ew, not another smooch. This flirting is out of control. The precious crystal star you're looking for is beneath this tree, underground. Good luck finding it before the others. <laughs> take care, take care, my handsome stash superstar. Let's to let's get together again soon. Can't believe that girl. Ugh, I can't stand her. Ugh, my aching. Hey, you! You're that dirtbag who hit me from behind, aren't ya? Yeah, real fair, you scum. You fight dirty, you get dirty, and I'll be doing the dirty. That sounds really dirty. Not a fan. Not into that. <laughs> Alright. Well, this is easy. Goombella, you got this. And we get the red key. What's in this treasure chest? Who knows? But I can see that behind it, behind my mic, there's an ant squir uh, running around. Sorry about this. Behind the, oh, it kind, okay. There's a, it looks like there's a handle on the top of the treasure chest. You can kind of see through it. I thought there was like a super shroom behind it. It looked like it to me, I'm sorry. But we get something better. Oh no, I gotta get rid of something. Um. Um. Let's get rid. Uh, let's get rid of the normal mushroom. I'll just use it. At least it gives me the option to use it before just instead of just tossing it. That's a nice change. I do like that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Looks like Crump left behind lots of the, of the... Lots of the equipment he used to search this tree. This mouse was here before, but I think she took the next train to Flirtsville. Alright, let's go open the door for the puny elder. Wait, hold on. That's a locked door. You can open it with the key. That must be just general uh, dialogue. 
Elder, we're back. We're here to rescue you. Foolish child! Kunio, sit down this instant and keep your mouth shut. Uh, what? Why? What did I do? Uh, listen, Elder, I don't know why you're mad, but we came here to help you. Stop your mumbling, you, and mind your elders, you whelp. How could you abandon your poor sister and run off like that? Absolutely shameful. But, but, Elder, I just went to find help, to rescue you. Oh, stop with the whining. You never interrupt an elder, uh, mid-lecture. Never! You wonder why the other punies call you the, a doofus sometimes? That's why. And your time to be a doofus is over, because you have to let, uh, lead our puny tribe one day. That day is not far off, and that is why you need to listen. Now, first of all... Several hours later... Or else, you got that? From now on, you gotta get your act together, Pru uh, Punio. Uh, yes, Elder. Yes, I, I understand. Bah! Only answer once! But say, by the way, why are you here anyway? Uh, I was just telling you, we came to rescue everyone. We started with you, Elder. Oh, is that so? Oh, good. In that case, get me out of here already. Criminy! The cell is cold, which isn't good for the old back. And there's this damp stench. Uh, well, there she goes. Enough standing around. Just you wait, Petuni. I'll be right back. I'll be right back for you. Okay, big brother. I'll be right. I'll be waiting. We need to find the blue key too, right, Mario? Let's go downstairs and ask the elder if she knows anything. And I hope the answer is, you know, brief. I bet Lord Crump got, uh, I bet Crump already got the information that Mario's in the tree and he's just waiting around somewhere. And he's, you know, it's been a few hours and he's just like, man, what's taking him so long? I'm here to ambush him, but yet he's still not showing up. Okay. Oh wait, I never This is an interesting This is an interesting pedestal, Mario. The ancient punies must have really been sophisticated. This is truly fascinating. Okay. Well if it isn't Punio. Hm, you heard me. Hm. I can't say I expected you to manage to rescue the Elder. I told you I could do it. Don't get swelled head. This doesn't mean I'll accept you as our leader. It is definitely doesn't mean I completely trust that trust that mustache guy either. For starters, you still haven't rescued the other punies yet. I'm not lifting an antenna to help until you do. You stubborn mule! Despicable! How dare you talk like that, knowing that what we're up against. The weirdo soldiers taking over our tree were bad enough, but now the Jabby tribe is helping them. We must stand together now. We must face them. Don't you understand that? What? The Jabby and the intruders have joined forces? Then maybe the Jabbies have the blue key. Shut your trap, Puniper and Punio, and mind me, you hear? You'll help Mustachio here. And what do you say your name was again? It was, er, it was Marty, wasn't it? It's Mario. He's Mario. I mean, sheesh. He's only world famous. Come on. Yes, yes, simmer down. You and everyone else, help Marty O clear, clear out of here. Love that joke. <laughs> oh, all right, Elder. Whatever you say. I'm not heartless or anything. To tell you the truth, I'm worried about Petuni too. And you're right. We have no choice. We must fight. Right, everybody? There you go, my punies. That's the spirit. Ten punies joined the party. Thanks, you guys. Hey, if you're done rallying, everyone, I have a question. We're looking for this crystal star thingamajig. Have you ever heard of it? Crystal star, eh? Hmm, yes, perhaps. Hidden down, down, down beneath the bottom of this tree is a funny cut star is a funny colored stone. But what do we do with it? Oh, right, guard it from evil and give it to a pure heart. Pure heart, you say? Is that a reference to S Super Paper Mario, maybe? No, maybe not. Definitely not. 
That's what generations of elders have been taught. Might be the Crystal Star. Marty! Or Mar Marty O, I'm calling it. Your heart seems pure enough, so that funny colored stone is yours. I don't quite uh, see how just yet, but I bet all of this is connected to us getting our tree back. You got all that, Marty O? C crystal star? Underneath the bottom of the tree. Go to it. Mole? Hot corn? Uh, I, I don't think they're mole people. I'm pretty sure. Uh... Oh, yeah. Monty Mole. Yeah. I get it. Marty O. I get it. Hold your horses. I forgot something. How's it going, Hawthorne Dog, by the way? Before you can get the Crystal Star, you must save all the captured punies. Yes, you'll never get that gem without the help of the punies. Not chance. Is it puny? Is it punies or pu punies? I always call them punies, but I, I have a feeling that's wrong. So, uh, so here, you better take this. It's the puny orb. It's the symbol of our leader. If you place this on, in pedestals you see around the tree, the punies will gather. Just remember to take the orb with you when you're done using it. Because, well, if you don't, everyone will just kind of hang out and stare at the orb. Uh, given you by the elder, the punies will gather when, pla when it's placed within a pedestal. Alright guys, let's go rescue everyone! We have 11 Oh, and one more thing! So sorry, so sorry. I've been awfully forgetful as of late. On your way to the Crystal Star, if you lose any punies, just come to see me. What I do is give a whistle to call them back here. You got that? You know, thinking about it, these punies are, uh, are obvious reference to Pikmin, aren't they? That's the puny elder. She's ancient, but actually pepper than everyone else. No need to worry about here. She'll be she'll live to be 150, griping all the way. Yeah, Marty O. So, basically, if Paper Mario ever brought partners back, we'll get a Monty Mole partner. And his name will be Marty O. Marty O. Monty O. Yeah. There we go. I get it. Puny Orb. They're all staring at the orb. It's very shiny. Send them to the front lines? I mean... We will be. That will be the case, Hot Corn Dog. Oh, look, a new pipe. Come on, let's jump in. That's the thing. They will be going on the front lines. That's not a joke. You'll see. You will see. But first. Let's see. Oh yeah, Hot Corn Dog, have you ever played Thousand Years of Thousand Year Door before? This, this is seriously one of my favorite games. There we go. Easy. Love the remixes. Alright, let's see. We can open the door. Uh, is there any reason to go down here? No. Actually, yes. Shine Sprite. Well, I can power up someone else, but I'm not going to leave the tree. I only played Mario Party, Mario Wii, Mario Kart Wii. Don't play much Mario. Mario Wii. Like Mario Galaxy? Or, or do you mean uh, New Super Mario Brothers Wii? Uh, let's get rid of... I think I'll just get rid of a honey syrup. It doesn't really matter. You know, the R Mario RPGs are some of my favorite games. Especially, like, from Mario. Like, some of my favorite Mario games. Okay. First of all, swap to Flurry. Put this in the pedestal. And use the power of wind. Throw them over the edge. Then they go into bubbles. Put them over to the other side. Wait. Oops. Grab that. And there we go. Hmm. 
No, seriously, like, uh, the first, let's see, Super Mario RPG is great. Um, I say four out of five of the Mario Luigi games are great. Paper Jam is kind of meh. And the first three Paper Mario games are amazing. Even though Super Paper Mario is not really a Paper Mario game. It's still really good. Punies are totally afraid of these piters. When a piter drops, the punies are completely lose it and bolt in every direction. You're gonna have to defeat any piters near the path you want to lead the punies along. Well, let's go defeat a piter. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's start with... You know what? I think I could just jump on this guy. Oh, never mind. Tattle. That's a Piter. Ick. They gross me out. Max HP 5. Attack is 2. Defense is 0. Ew. Besides its normal attacks, it might spit three web wads at you consecutively. You better have good timing if you want to guard against its attacks. It also says here that the punies can't stand Piters, so I'm not the only one. Just the sight of these things makes the punies flee in terror. I know how they feel. Super guy. Ah, uh, well, I tried. Let's see. Uh, no matter which way I handle this, I can only take down one of them this way. However, I think what we can do is we can swap to Flurry. And we can Gale Force this. Oh, I thought I got it right. Never mind. And this is why I don't use Gale Force. Does it not work on them because they have the... The webs. Bingo! Okay. I think I found the timing for the bingo. I'm, I'm serious. I think I found the timing. Uh, the spinner... It, oh. Get out of here. You're not going to throw rocks at me. But yeah, I think I found the timing for the spinner. The spinner... Low out, uh, loadout is always the same. So I think it's like poison mushroom, mushroom, flower, fire flower, no, uh, flower, star, and shine sprite, I believe. And what I've been doing is like pressing A on the one before it. So, like in the flower's case, once I noticed the mushroom was passing by, I pressed A and got the flower. So that seems to be pretty consistent. Okay, there's also another change there to that attack. Uh, let's power jump. In the GameCube version, once you have it lined up, I could just press A to just immediately attack. And just not wait it out. But it looks like that's not the case here. I have to just keep it in the ring until time runs out. That's interesting change. What's down here? Also, we're missing some pennies. Alright. Uh, let's try Gale Force again. Let's see if we can get... Let's see if we can get it to work. Let's actually get it, get the bar to full. Oh, I see. Once it's full, it doesn't stay there. Okay. You have to make sure to keep it going. I see. Okay. Oh, you ran off down here. I see. Do 
Do I have? Yeah, I do have enough. Flurry, can you gale force? Again, this is why I don't really like using her. It's getting rid of an enemy, but it's not guaranteed. It was a good attempt, though. Like, But getting rid of one out of four wasn't that great. Alright. Um, how much damage does Flurry do? Two damage? It's not really great. Oh, now I get an attack. Hold on. Um... Did I crash? Or is it just... Um... crashed. It's just the player crashed. I don't know. I think we're fine. Seems seems fine. Okay. Uh, let's go to Coops. There we go. Again, I could leave to power one of my partners up, but I'm not going to leave the tree at this point. We're going to stay here and take it all done. Get it all done. Level up! And you know what that means! More badge points! Again, this recharge animation lasts longer than what GameCube version does. Alright, uh, now that I have more badge points... Oh, maybe I should put damage dodge on? I don't... With a foe temporary soft and drop a defense. Ooh, I... Should I have soft stomp? Happy Heart's just kind of here, but for now it's fine. Multibamp's not really that helpful. Close call, power smash, piercing blow, I don't really need. I have Quake Hammer, so... We could do damage dodge and soft stomp. I think I'll be fine. There we go. Alright. First things first. Let's check all of these. Then let's do the paper airplane stuff. Shine Sprite. I think that's our fourth one that we currently have. So, get back here. So, only in a, still only enough to power up one of our partners. Oh, probably, I will probably make it Coops. Unless I want to save it for the next party member. Hmm, we'll see. Mario, that was a jabby. And I was right. They have the key to the blue cell. Our tribes have been enemies for a long time now. Every time we meet, we fight. A lot. And now we know they're helping the intruders and trying to seize the tree. But I used to get along with, J with Jabal. He's one of the dra jabby tribe. The Jabal I knew would be hiding somewhere right now, not wanting to fight anyone. I wonder if even Jabal is my enemy now. I don't remember that bit of dialogue. Well, let's go in. Wait, hold on, hold on. 
Hey, there's water running through the inside of the great tree. You don't think... Could this be how the tree carries nutrient nutrients from root to limb? You know, nature is just about the coolest thing ever. Step forward a bit more. Oh no, intruder alert! Everyone, it's the Jabbies! It's a 10 Jabby squadron. Uh, let's get him. Come on. Let's go. Charge! This is totally Pikmin. <laughs> wow, we did it. We defeated every last Jabby here. Now we have to destroy the Jabby High Fortress. There we go. See? Defeated. There's no escape for you from battle. Because war is hell. Is there anything in these bushes? No. Okay. Move on to the next room. Okay. We can't go through there, obviously. Bella? What do you have to say? This area seems to have been laid out for a special reason, don't you think? There must be something super important hidden here. This is a treasure chest. What could be inside it? Okay, ge generic dialogue that I've been forgetting to check. You got the blue key. Sweet. Yes, with this key, we should be able to open the cell my people are locked in. Hurry, we have to f free my sister and the others. And we can't do anything else. Wait, hold on. This is an X floor panel. It looks like it, it can be broken, but you don't have a way to do that yet. Well, I guess it's time to head back and rescue Pet uh, Petuni and the rest of the Punis. And they never come back and that's that. That's what's gonna happen to us and... Hey, by the way, what's the thing you've been holding on to so tightly? It's a mushroom. Oh, not to be, you know, rude, but it looks all dry and wrinkly and gross. Yeah, yeah, I know. I picked it so I could give it to my brother to eat. But then I got captured and stuck in here. And after a few days, it dried out. Oh, really? Uh, great story. Anyway, don't worry so much. All my complaining aside, I'm sure Punio will return. Yeah, I just gotta make her feel better. Alright. It's time to head back to rescue the punies, but I think I'm gonna explore this room a little bit. We're inside the great tree. This area is totally whacked out to topography. Okay, let's explore and clear out the enemies around here. They have 5 HP. I don't really have much... I don't really have a way to get rid of them efficiently other than Gale Force. Because Koops' power shell still only does, like, what, 2 damage to all of them? Gale Force is still one of my better bets. And we got rid of one of them. And the one I got rid of was already weakened. Let's Earth Tremor this. What a waste of FP. It's not like I've been needing it for Sweet Tree anyway. Ever since I got uh, Flower Finder. There we go, that's enough. Why do I keep trying Gale Force? Seems to be like a 1 in 4, it's more or less consistently. And that's, uh, that, those odds are not that great. You know, Punio suggested his shop would be hiding somewhere around here. It might be a good idea, good for us to find it. If you need any items, yes? 
Let's see. Okay, we can't go through here. Seems it won't open. So let's try going the other way. Ooh, star piece. There it is. We'll grab the other punies later. On the way back. This is a shop run by a puny named uh Punijin. Or Punjin. I wonder if there's are any rare items. The shop is hard to spot, so I've been in here hiding from those goo from those goons this whole time. But those fiends have been searching high and low for something inside this tree. What could they be looking for? You have any ideas? That's Pungri, of the Punies. He seems to be friends with Pungrin, uh, Pungin, as far as I can tell. I guess they avoided any trouble with the Exons by holding up in here. Howdy do da day, bud. Welcome to Pungit's shop. What can I do for you? Let's put stuff. I'm gonna put stuff in storage. Let's put the Ultra Shroom and. Um. Yeah, there we go. Okay, wait, wait, hold on. Hey, it's Jabby! Where are you? Or Jabble, why are you hiding back there? Whoa, a Jabby! Not good. This little fella is gonna get mixed up in my stock. But I suppose I can't go disciplining him. He, he is just still just a kid after all. But he is just a kid. Mario, maybe we should, you know, take it easy on him. No, let's get him! <laughs> he runs off. Oh no, he took off! <laughs> hoo wee Phew, Lord off, load off my mind. I thought he might go poking holes in my shop. I think I might have made a mistake right there. But look, the, uh, there is ice storms here. That's not bad. I don't think I'm gonna buy one, but that's not bad. And look, uh, mushrooms are three coins here. So, again, you could buy these for three coins, cook some shroom fries, or shroom, shroom fries for a two-coin profit that way. Did I mess up? I think I did. Hold on, let me try going back in. Maybe he's, maybe he turned around. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he's back. Okay. Okay, same dialogue happens. Take it easy on him. Okay, we'll leave him be. I wonder what his deal is. He seems so lonely. Like he he's watching us secretly, you know? Yeah, and it's almost like he's like a lost little kitty cat looking for a home. Aw, too cute. Hey, don't you think he, he wouldn't want to join us, would he? The young Jabby silently nodded his head. It appears you have a new ally. I had heard the rumors from Madame Flurry to, uh, to them jabbies. Now the word is out. Mario can win over the hearts of any, of anyone and everyone. I tell you, as as a people person and a salesman, I must say I'm more than a little jealous. Yeah, we got a jabby friend, and that is an extra party member for, for the jabbies or or the punies. It only says. 11 total, but in all reality, with Jabble here, we have 12. No, that's not what I meant to do. I always... I think I tend to miss Jabble. Like, I don't always see him well, in my playthroughs. I think I just sometimes forget he's there. Okay... I guess I'll try. So what else am I gonna do? Maxed out. We got three out of four. That was way better. There we go. That's more what I'm looking for. there, but that's okay. 
Come on. There we go. Then a little more stylish, and we're good to go. Done. Drop down, get my coins and flowers. Any peonies down here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let me go back to Coops. And I think... Oh, wait, is this a... No, not a hammer thing? Oh, there it is. Okay, I just did it wrong, I guess. Damage dodge P. If you really want to use your partners to fight, you use that badge. Okay, wait a minute. What? What was the point in that? Anyway. Uh, let, we're not going to go to that room to the left. I already know what's there. It's pointless to try. Let's head back and open the cell door. Okay. And... Here we go. And just the walk back, we already cleared out all the enemies, so we're good. And Goombell is not needed. We tattled everyone, except if we want, you know, for four damage. Which is way better than what anyone else can do. Alright. I think I have to bring the punies with me. Pretty sure Punio needs to be here. So I think I have to do this. Right, time to head up. And I go through here. Almost there. And this is why you fight every enemy along the way. Just get rid of them. And the EXP. And here we are. Made it. Petuni, I'm back. We brought the key. We're opening the cell right now. Hurry, hurry up and open it. Big brother! Little Petuni. Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Nope, I'm fine. Thank heavens. Hey, big brother. I have something for you. I meant to give this to you sooner, but... Mushrooms are your favorite, aren't they, big brother? But, uh, uh well, this one kind of got dried out. Oh, nasty. Big brother. It was icky, wasn't it? I'm sorry. No, not, uh, not at all. Delicious. Very, uh, uh very uh, yummy. Big brother, you okay? Give me a hug, Petuni. Hey, quit it, Punio. Come on. Don't get all mushy. Everyone's staring. Oh, it, was just really, uh, it was just a really sweet jester. That's all. Oh, it was nothing. 90 punies have joined our party. Now we have 101. That is a lie. We have 102. Granted, yeah, we have 101 punies. That's correct. But we have a jabby. Now we can be pick 
now we can uh, cosplay as Olimar and Pikmin. I did not mean to go back up here. I meant to go behind the pipe, because I think there's something hidden behind it now that I'm thinking about it. Could be wrong. Okay, nothing's hidden behind it. I thought there was. Come on, get, get in there. Yes, with our puny army, we can take on anything! Yes, we are playing Pikmin. And because there's no time limit for this game, we must be playing Pikmin 2. What do you think? I'm pretty sure this is Pikmin 2. We are in a dungeon, after all. Are we Are we going to be dealing with the Water Wraith? Because I don't want to be dealing with the Water Wraith. I don't think we have Blue Pikmin to deal with that. No, we don't have Purple Pikmin to deal with that. Well, actually, no. We have one purple Pikmin. We have one purple Pikmin to actually deal with the Water Wraith. So, never mind. We can deal with it. Be annoying. Be pretty slow, but we can do it. Oh, right. They're trying to go to the orb. Let's see. Where is he? It's it's the big one, right? Right over here. See, that's the purple Pikmin. Right, right here. Yeah. We could totally take on the Water Wraith. You know, I still haven't played Pikmin 4. I want to. I haven't been able to. I hope... I hear it's good. I hear Pikmin 4 is good. And it's so cool that, like, every Pikmin game, or all the mainline Pikmin games, are on the Switch and can be played. That's amazing. Now we just need the other two Metroid Primes, and then we can play the entire trilogy on Switch. Right, now we go through the left door. With our puny army in hand, nothing can stop me now! I think they have better AI in this game, I don't know. They seem to follow me a little bit better than the GameCube version. Prime 4 first? Yeah, we still need Prime 4. This must be one of the most wide open spaces inside the Great Tree, huh? This tree looks big from out there, but I lose all sense of dimension in here. I could totally get lost in here for, like, days. Invade the neighboring country. We kinda are. We kinda are, Cockhorn Dog. Because you see, it's the Jabbies! And there's a bunch of them. Everyone, it's the Jabbies! It's a hundred Jabby Squadron! Uh, Charge! Come on, Mario! Okay, so them lining up was a lot faster in this game. Because they did like one row at a time in the GameCube version. So that speeds things up. Let's go! Charge! I don't know if Lurie actually does anything. and This is just what I do. Oh no, we have 45 punies left! There we go, we win! Whoa, we beat them! We, K we KO'd every last Jabby here! Now let's destroy the jo uh, Jabby Hive Fortress! Yeah, now we just need to give every puny a flamethrower, and this will be POW World! Now you're dizzy. Not that it was really needed. Okay, I can't really use Flurry unless I want to Gale Force, and I can't Gale Force, so we will just... How dare you throw a can at me! Get out of here! We don't want you in the audience. Alright, let's get Koops in here. Uh... Wake Hammer would deal two damage. And Power Shell does the same thing. So, yeah, we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna Shell Toss. We'll deal with it. Yeah. 
Yeah, with damage dodge here, I take zero damage. So that's the trade-off now. Because with damage dodge, I basically get two defense if I time it right. So I could take zero damage, or I take the risk in super guard. But if I go for super guards, then why should I have damage dodge? Predicaments, you know? What do we got in here? Nothing. And nothing of importance. Gubella. I wonder if the inside of the tree was always like this. I mean, do you think it was? Or do you think someone made it this way? Hmm. It's a mystery. I mean, after a thousand years, it makes you wonder. Let's get Koops back in. How did that miss? How did that miss? Okay. I could Gale Force. Or, because they have 4 HP, I can... Weaken... Hmm. Nah, we'll go for it. Oh, right, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting where the Silish is. And we'll get it next turn. Oh, you took, you took one damage. There, oh, okay, it's because I didn't time it right. Now we got them. And we're done. You know, with damage dodge here, I probably don't need HP+. plus. I'm not really taking much damage. And with better super guards, I think I should really try to... I really need more FP. <laughs> like, FP is way more important. Anything back here? No? Oh, no, there was. There was a star piece back here. I knew there was something hidden behind one of the pipes. I just knew it. Well, you see the list. Oh. Oh, I like that. That's clever. That is clever. Okay, that's a change I approve of. Where's the puny orb? Uh, what? What just happened? <laughs> Man, you guys are dense. Brilliant little trap, huh? And boy, did it bite you. Or did you bite on it? I saw you uh, sticking that silly stone on the pedestals, so I made a fake one. Awesome! I mean, I knew it was great, but seeing you fall for it really gives me a warm fuzzy. <laughs> Talk about complete idiots. You guys are so dumb it hurts. Anyway, with you fools out of the picture, I can take my time hunting the crystal star. <laughs> Mario, what do we do? Uh, we have to find a way out of here. But what can we do? So, I like this change. Because they really made it obvious that it's fake. They really made it obvious that it was fake. I like that. I like that change. Who am I? Big brother, I'm scared. Well, time to leave you all behind. Boy, this just isn't right. Let's do something before my claustrophobia sets in. Mario, think of something. I'm counting on you. On before we do. The structure of the tree is pretty complicated. If we want to move forward, we'll have to make full use of shared abilities, including the punies. We're gonna seriously need to use our thinky caps as we move forward. Again, there's like dialogue for every room. Hey, check these out. I swear I, we've seen these decorated columns before. Sun, moon, puny, and star. Back in this room. Oh, more switches. Huh? Did you feel that? That intense shaking. What in the world was that? And... Okay. Yeah, it gives you a moment where you don't have to deal with the punies for a little bit. 
See ya, suckers. I'm leaving for the Crystal Star, and I'll never come back for you. <laughs> yeah, deal with it, punies. You were right, Puniper. I am going to leave you behind. But yeah, I do like the whole... Uh, the, the, the fake uh, pedestal. Because I think in the GameCube version, it just looks like any other pedestal. And they made it way more obvious that it was fake here. I like it. I like that change. Yeah. Sun, moon, puny, and star. It's very... It's easy to remember. And not only that, uh... The code is actually in Professor Frankly's house. You can see it as soon as you enter his house. In the top right, those three, those four symbols are just at the top. If you haven't seen it before, uh, I can point it out next time we're there. Sun, moon, puny, star. Oh, this is our first big treasure chest. Do you say something? This is a big treasure chest. There must be something amazing inside. We got the super boots. Finally an upgrade. And there's Toadette. I've been waiting for Toadette. Hi there, I'm Toadette. Congratulations on getting the super boots. You'll be able to use a new, a new jump technique now. So let's practice it, okay? If you press A at the right moment when jumping, you'll do a spin jump. The trick is to press A right after you jump. So close. Okay. Basically mash it. Okay. Wow, that was perfect. You're a natural. Are you clear on the controls? Yep, I'm good. Okay, that's just super. It looks like you've mastered the spin jump. You can smash through spots like this with your spin jump. Only one more thing. You can use this, uh, the spin jump in battle, too. Your attack power for jumps have been boosted as well, so enjoy that the next time you're in battle. Well, I hope, you use, I hope to see you again soon. Good luck on your adventure. Yes, we finally get an upgrade. And unlike th uh, the original Paper Mario, we got the boots first, so it was way more useful. Next floor panel, if you do a spin jump on it, you can break through it. Yeah, different dialogue. Now that we got the spin jump. Let's get our shine sprite. Never mind, let's fall and try that again. So the other, oh, there's a badge over there. Okay, I'm gonna have to grab that first. Yeah, I think the other panel is more back to where the punies are, so we just need to head back there. It's not that bad. Coops, I need that badge for my collection. Charge. I mean, I could see why you would equip it, but taking a t taking a turn to charge up is not usually my style in gameplay. But if we... But I can see uses for it. Man. Oh my god. Danger Mario. Power bounce. With charge. That just sounds broken. That just sounds incredibly broken. Let's see. On our way back. Let's go. I'm gonna have to leave them behind. Later, suckers. There we go. Come on. Oh, you have a stopwatch. Okay. So I should deal 
Total four damage now. So I could take down. I think we can do this normally. Yeah, you know what? With that item there, I'm not gonna risk Gale Force. Okay, Coops, do your thing. I think that already does three damage, so guarding is... Yeah. Maybe it's better to go for super guard on that one. Flurry, I guess. Gotta get you to do something. Wait. Diz How did you get dizzy? Hold on, what happened? Oh, a pail fell from the ceiling. It, it didn't look like it, so I was very confused. I should test out the spin jump just to see how much damage it will actually do. But I remember those moves are stuff that I just end up not using. We're inside the grit tree. Grasses and other plants grow in here. Isn't that cool? You think the grit tree is like a host organism? Biology is just so cool. So, Act, when you play Thousand Year Door, what type of badges do you tend to equip? I can think of one badge I remember using the last time I played Thousand Year Door. I don't have it yet. Okay, there's a lot of them here. But... Yeah, we'll be fine. Let me try the spin jump. So, it does five damage. Unless I... I did not time that second one right, so it may do six. Yeah, it may do six damage if I time it right. And that's on me for not tiring the brain. Let's try that again. Don't remember the badges too much? Yeah, it's all good. Actually, I should ask, when you played Thousand Year Door, or the last time you played it, were you just going with, like, normal level ups, just kind of alternating HP, FP, and badge points? Or did you focus on a particular stat? Because that's how I used to play. I used to just go, like, HP, FP, badge points. I just keep doing that. That's how I used to play. No. Badges. Badges are the way to go. Alright. Uh, can I? Probably eventually focus on PP. I'll probably eventually focus on PP. Yeah. Uh, this area makes me feel like I'm exploring a watery swamp. Even though we're in a tree. The last time I played this, what I did was I focused on BP, but it wasn't badge points only. Like, I would, uh... Uh, I'm sorry. Like, occasionally I'd be like, ah, I need more FP. I'll give one boost to FP. I, I feel like I'm l running low on HP. Let's, uh... Let's give let's give myself more HP this level up. But then I focus more on badges. Drain the water. I mean, we had to do something like this in Chapter Two in Paper Mario One and uh, Dry Dry Ruins. So Ugh, they're ripping off themselves. Jeez, game designers. Can go for a walk? Oh, okay. Uh, have a good walk, act. Have a good walk, act. Ooh, treasure chest. Shrink stomp. I already have one. And dizzy dial. 
Okay, so we now that we have two shrink stops. Oh no, I got confused with soft stomp. Okay, never mind. It's an attack to temporarily shrink an enemy and drop their attack power. Oh. Drop their defense. You, it's either you drop their attack or you drop their defense. There's reasons for both. I might get rid of power jump, but I almost want to test it out and see how much damage it does. Let's see. need the punies here. Can't continue on there. We've come down pretty far. The air is a big holder here, don't you think? The technology used here is pretty intense, too. I wish I had more time to inspect it. Can't do anything there. Oh. I actually can't do anything. Okay. Huh. Okay, I guess I need to go back and get the punies. Oh, did... Was I able to get them? But... Oh. Maybe I did step three before doing step two. That happens a lot. <laughs> Let's take a look. Time to start heading back. And I don't think Flurry's needed. I don't see a hidden spot. And you know what? Maybe I could have gotten the punies out sooner. Let's take a look. Go down here. Oh, wait. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, there we go. You did it. Yes, yes. Now we can get out of here. I, uh, yeah, I did step three before step two. Uh, it's not that bad. First, get through the hole. Actually, in this case, wait. Can I use the puny orb? You can still use the puny orb here. There we go. Even though it's fake, they still uh, they still react to it. All right, now we got everyone back. Okay. So I I just noticed there were a lot of punies that were kind of trapped. Uh, they kind of got themselves uh, trapped over there. But when I uh, went through the door, all of them still followed me. I think in the GameCube version, they would just sometimes... Uh, sorry. Uh, I would have to go back and get them, I think. They don't always follow because they got stuck. I don't remember. Been a, it's been a few years since I actually played the game version. But I remember the punies kind of being a little annoying to deal with sometimes. Okay, now I can head this way. Let's go up here. That's a go. we could continue. And with 101 punies and one jabby. Uh, what's... Oh no! What's happening? Uh, lower floor. So that's how you get to this room. Gee, the sign that says 101 and never thinking about using 
How how did you never find this room? It's, it feels pretty obvious. Oh, there's a mushroom here. Um. I guess I'll use up the slow mushroom. Sure, I should have put that in storage too. Wait a minute. You can bonk your own partners? I didn't know that. Okay, let's get the full heal. And time to save. Alright, let's move on. See, that thing's gotta be around here somewhere. Uh, uh -huh. What's that? Whoa! Sounds like a mob. Better clear out. This must be the lowest chamber. Saying it's solemn here is an understatement. Under this, these statues' glares, I feel like the puny's ancestors are watching us. Is there anything in these bushes? Anything at all? Uh, nothing. Another coin. Okay, nothing. Time to step on the pedestal. It's a good thing they don't ask for 102 punies, because, you know, the elders left behind. It's a good thing they ask for 101. Mario, check it out! The Crystal Star! Score! Hey, you! I see you, jerk! Mario, that weasel! Mario, it's that weasel! <laughs> Man, I'm, am I lucky or what? Or am I just good? Oh, you, need, you say you need a Crystal Star, little crumb! Boom! Falls right in my lap! Still, this is humiliating. You shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. So for insulting my awesome trap, I'm going to repay you with a little present. Know what it is? Oh, just a little something I like to call a remote time bomb detonator. I'm going to use the superior you and the squirmy punies into rubble. Sound fun? Well, enjoy your final minutes inside this dark, dank old tree. And with that, Pow! I'm gone. Oh no, we have 300 seconds! This is so not cool! We gotta get out of here! Right now! Let's have Flurry out, because I know I'm gonna need her a little bit. Yeah, this is definitely a Metroid game. We're doing the escape sequence for Metroid. Mario's gonna, uh, Clumps is blowing up the tree. Okay, I forgot we're doing more fights, so I'm swapping back to Bella. If the timer goes out, you actually do get a game over. The tree actually blows up. And yes, I'm going to take the time to search these bushes. Oh, star piece. See, it was worth it. Totally worth it. Actually, I didn't... I didn't have Goombella tattle that room. Oh, well. It's okay. But yeah, uh, Metroid Prime 4, I wonder what's going on with that. It, at this point, it almost feels like they're probably just going to have it be uh, announced with uh, the Switch 2, you know? Like, after a certain amount of time, they're probably just like, you know what, let's just make it for the new console. 
either as well or exclusively. I'm not sure which. I don't even know if I need all the keys, but I'm taking them with me anyway. Yeah, you have plenty of time. Let's go. You won't be going any further. This away. What? Are you for real? Move it, you old geezer. What? Did you just call me an old geezer? Where do you get off talking like that? You got no respect, brat! Don't think my age has a thing to do with my might! Even if it kills me, I won't let you through! I'm ready! Elder power, activate! Whoa, what's your problem, Grandma? You got an ear here. You got ear hair tickling your brain or what? Oh, oh, what the? Ouch! I can't take another step. Oh. What a time for my stupid back to start aching acting up. Oh, you hot headed old coot! You dare to find me, I could shine my boots with you. Stop right there, jerk! You aren't going anywhere, Mr. Stinker. Now give us the crystal star and drag your sorry self out of this tree forever. <laughs> you guys are wild, you know that. Oh well, I guess I better shut off this timer. I wonder if it will still blow up while you're in the middle of the cutscene if you let the timer go out. Okay, you pests. One pummeling coming up with extra fists. Metal fists, that is. Awake, Magnus von Grapple. Time for a techno techno technological... God, I can't speak. Ah, uh, I can't speak. Thrashing. Technological. There we go. That's the word. That I can't speak. Let's go. Are you crying yet? Yeah? Sorry, but this thing ain't armed with tissues. Well, Magnus von Grapple has that effect on people. Total weeping terror. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Check out the power of this bad boy. Whoa, he is powerful. Still, something about this metal freak just doesn't seem right to me. Keep your eyes open. Alright, first, let's tattle him. What do we got? That's Magnus Von Grapple. It's a giant robot built by the Exonauts. Lord Crump drives it. HP of 30, attack is 2, defense is 1. Its most effective attack is one that takes advantage of its size, a smothering stomp. It can also shoot out its fists, which do these super gnarly rocket punches. Its fists have a max HP of 2, an attack of 4, and a defense of 0. Its fists are super powerful, so it's best to knock them down fast. The thing about this robot is... I can't really tell if it looks cool or, look, or really, really stupid. And we're not even going to discuss the color. Okay, so it has a defense of one. I think I'm just going to do a normal attack for now. Um, we're doing weaker damage now. Here it comes, suckers. Magnus Von Punish! Failed the damage dodge. Okay, one thing I... Oh, we're not... He's not using his rocket punches yet. I gotta be careful. Well, I'm just gonna normal jump. And Goombella is still, still probably better off using Goombella. Got it! Bingo! And that's the Shine Sprite one. That's a full refill on everything. Not that I needed it.
Did this song get extended? I don't remember this part of the song. I think it got ex extended. Alright, well, he's not using his rocket punches. So I'll just keep going with normal attacks. I was gonna use. Uh, I was gonna try soft stomp. yet this is uh, this is so awesome check out what else this guy could do you're gonna love it this might not work out too well for you so one thing i'm gonna point out is if you don't have goombella powered up she can't do damage to magnus von grapple so yeah in this case it's better to have flurry or coops if you didn't power goombella up anyway the reason why I wasn't using FP is because I'm trying out Gale Force. So if I'm correct... Yeah, the rockets are susceptible for Gale Force. Uh, let me get my FP back. Fresh juice, eh, it doesn't, we'll save it. Honey syrup it is. Yeah, I heard uh, the rockets are su susceptible to Gale Force. Oh, that was an earthquake. Wait! Was Flurry immune to that because she's floating in the air? Because I think that would hit both of them normally. Interesting. How dare you throw a can at me? Get out of here. Alright. Uh, let's try... Let's see if Soft Stomp works on him. Yes, it does work. Oh, that's great. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Gumbella, get back out here. That's multi bomb. Or, you know, fail at it completely because I'm not good at it. See, I don't just I don't ban it just because it's broken. I ban it because I'm bad at it. <laughs> Just wasted all that FP. Let's get rid of the rockets first. I'm gonna have to sweep tree. Or use an item. Okay, yeah, Flurry's immune to that move. Alright, uh. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump. Okay, yeah, he just has normal defense now. We'll just use a... I guess we'll just use a spicy soup. That's fine. Gets me enough FP that I need. There we go. Got it right. Okay, he's cured of his defense down. Let's set it back up. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and just normal attack. There we go. A couple more turns. Not good. Can't last. Ah, uh, stupid rockets. However, I think we can finish this right now. Earth Tremor. Okay. I thought I missed time that one. And that is that. Get out of here. Blear! This could be the end. Wait, yes! Yes! D 
double EXP! Look at that. 60. And we get the coin bonus, but look at this 60 EXP. Oh, I was really hoping for something like that to happen. Alright, more batch points. I could really use more FP. <laughs> Yeah, the only problem with my current setup is that boss fights, I have to use other ways to restore FP. Normal battles, you know, Flower Finder's nice. Bug! No! Magnus Von Grapple! How could we wo How could we lose? I'll remember this, losers. Lord Crump summons us. Retreat! Uh, that must be Johnson. We did it, Mario. Yes. Was that great or what? They're gone. This place can go back to being a peace the peaceful place I remember. According to legend, you can have the Emerald Star, the crystal star that resided in this tree. You got a crystal star. Your star power is now three, and Mario learned the special move, Clock Out. I think Clock Out just basically casts stop on all the enemies. I don't know how useful it actually happens. It works, you know? And so, after pummeling Lord Crump, Mario obtained the second crystal star. With the Xnox gone, peace once again prevailed throughout the Great Tree. The boggling woods echoed with the puny songs of joy. But this may not be the last of our hero hears from the vile Exnauts. They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts. Now let's see what Peach is up to. It's been a couple hours. What? Say that again? You can't get in touch with Lord Crump. You are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. Lord Grotus, please allow me to enter. What is it? I have a report, I have a report sir. The crystal star in the Boggly Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Three Shadows? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Disturbing. Perhaps this Mario character is not the fool I took him for. Speak up, Axon. What are the status on the other crystal stars? I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other crystal stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We know there were crystal stars in Hooktail Castle and Boggly Woods, yet Mario claimed the first. The one we seized came from Rogueport. That means there are four crystal stars left out there. We will have them. Keep looking. Do not let Mario beat us to the punch. Y yes, sir. They already have one of them. As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has that map. He must. Listen up. You, I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. Mario, I love you. You know, this villain is actually smart. Like, yeah, at first he thought Mario just wasn't a threat, but then very shortly in the game, he's like, no, he's a problem. We got to do something about this. You know, most of the time these types of bad guys are, would just be like, ah, he's never a threat, even though he has six out of seven, you know? Oh, Mario, did you even read the mail I sent you? I wonder. Wait, why didn't Mario attempt to, te to reply back? I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. Will I ever dance at the Mushroom Ball again? What will become of me? Hmm, it's not opening. I think it's just a time thing. Oh, is this text doing again? 
Well, Peach, you did it again. You made a computer horny. Now he wants to see you. This is not a good sign. <laughs> Hello, Princess Peach. I am glad you came. That mail I sent to Mario, did it reach him all right? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So, what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of love? You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? Were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I've been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But... It is odd. When well, you said that, I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CPU would produce this impulse is unexpectable. Oh, God, God, I can't speak. Ugh. I must find what caused it. I thought it would be inexplainable. I found what ca find out what caused it. There's no reason behind such feeling, Tech. I wanted to do something together. It's part of love. I know it. But then again, you are, well, a computer. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait, wait just a minute. What am I supposed to do? You just, you say you want to dance. It's just so bizarre. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms or feet or moves. Would this be an acceptable dance su substitute? Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create this? All right, I guess. I must say, though, it's going to feel weird dancing with myself. I mean, you, you made the joke before I could have. Wait for the button icons to light up and press the correct button, dance. Oh, t oh, okay. I see. That's different. In the GameCube version, like, as soon as it pops up, just go ahead and press the button. I didn't know there was a timing involved. I thought when it was loading, it just means press it before it finishes. And now, wait for it to fill up. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun. Is this impulse I feel the concept known as fun? Tech, are you okay? To thank you for dancing, please make use of my com communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. I'm finished, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. The data I thought was fun. The data that I thought that was fun. That I thought was fun. You're a weird computer. No, you are mistaken. I'm the world's best and only perfect computer. Good night, Princess Peach. Pretty simple one. But now we get to see what the King of Koopas is up to. Pretty sure it's just up ahead here. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. We just got word that Princess Peach was spotted in the town up ahead. Good. Yes, very good. Then I'm off. These fools don't know what's coming. <laughs> My lord, you are you're so super. <laughs> Can we please can we please get a, ba a platforming Bowser game? That would be nice. Yes. Can we please get a, ba a like a platforming Bowser game? That'd be nice. I want that. I want that in my life. Yes. And this game came up with the giant mushrooms, I think even before New Super Mario Brothers. Why is Bowser killing his own minions? That's a good question. They're even running away from him.
Uh, it was ever so brief. It was a nice reference. And we know the inspiration for uh, Super Paper Mario based on that. Oh, hey, welcome to Pedalburg and... Eek! Hide! Hide, everyone! Hide! <laughs> what a mess. Yes, hide, chickens. I have no need for any of you. What I do need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. Lord Bowser, over there! Bingo! Princess Peach! Man, that was easy. I found you, my princess. I, Bowser, the mighty king, Koopa King, offer my greetings. Now, now, no that silent treatment. You're coming to my castle. You're coming to my castle with me. <laughs> Clearly, she's so overcome with joy that she's left speechless. The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see! How refined, how elegant, awesome! I could go for the strong, silent type. There are too many backseat bosses talking my ears off as it is. No! My, my life's treasure! I'd rather die than give up my life-size peach poster. Oh my goodness me! Didn't see that coming. Great, just great. No, I look like the huge mighty king of guy who talks to posters. <laughs> uh, Bowser's great in this game. Yeah, he's. I don't think he's as threatening as he was in the first Paper Mario, but he has a lot of good jokes. Uh, thank you, Mario, th for everything you've done. We could go back to our peaceful way of life now. You know, son, now that we get right down to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I do love uh, pontificating, so come by, come by whatever, whenever you want to sit and chat a while. Yes, please come back and visit. We'll watch for you. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the Crystal Stars. I'm sure we'll be back again at some point. Yeah, definitely. Take care, guys. Take care, guys. See ya, Mar Mr. Mario. Boa, do you have anything new to say? And Punio and Jabbles are old friends. I sure hope the Punis and Jabbies can live together in peace from now on. It's pretty much this guy just needs to stop whining and do what's right. I mean, he's huge! When you got a big bod, you gotta step up and take charge. That's Petunia, the Punis. She's Punio's little sister. I hope they can live peacefully together now, don't you? That's Punio with the Punis. He sure is a hard-working little fella, huh? Don't you just want to cheer him on? Always root for... Okay, the same thing. It's Punio Elder. She's ancient, but actually peppier than everyone else. No need to worry about her. Yeah, okay, same thing. All right. Time to head back to Rogueport. Yeah, why is Bowser taking down his own minions? Uh, they did a terrible job. They're bad at their job, I guess. So, no, that Goomba uh, uh, took Bowser's uh, food out of the fridge on lunch break, and it was and it had Bowser's name on it, so it was mad at him. Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me, but please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again if I uncover anything, okay? You must know I miss you. Lately, I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. Opal will spend carefully, carefree days there again soon. Princess Peach. Aw, oh, isn't that sweet, Mario? Sweet indeed. Well, I can probably ignore these guys. Alright. So the plan is we'll go to the... We'll go to the Thousand Year Door. We'll set up the next chapter. 
but then we're gonna focus on the trouble center and maybe we'll do a jump through uh, a few rounds of the Pit of a Hundred Trials. Maybe. Ideally, I would love to get to 450, but I don't think I'm strong enough to do it. I could probably at least make it to floor 20, though. Maybe 30. Happy Heart P? Eh, it's okay. But yeah, right. You know, because I'm doing this badge only run, you know, it's changing, like, the mindset of, like, how to play the game. I wonder how different this game would be if you do either Mario only or uh, partners only. Now, my little Mario, it's Crystal Star time. I do like how all the party members are here to see the light show. Not that it really means much. Floating City. The location of the Crystal Star has been recorded on your magical map. Oh, mercy me! The next Crystal Star has made an entrance! My, my, my! But, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that up in the sky? What does that mean? Means that beneath this town, the thousand year door the thousand year old ruins remain intact. And that door's been seal sealed shut for a thousand years by the crystal stars. In order to open that seal, we have to muster the power of all the crystal stars. Yeah, I, I kinda figured. Perhaps I'm just daft, but why would they want to seal the treasure anyway at all? Do they fear the thieves or and brigands? If not, then what? No, that's not. Hmm, that's not what? I don't know. Frankly, please. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. The problem is, no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. Well, that's what written is this. Darkness so stole the sky, and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more, assuming we we just make an, well, you know, you know the saying. Oh yes, how inappropriate. In any case, what about the location of this crystal star that's floating on the map? Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointed to the floating town of Glitzville. There's a stunning arena there where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights, but... Behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager, wager on the bouts. A floating city, you say? So are we just supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. A special blimp flies there. It departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get tickets is through certain channels. Oh, that sounds exciting! A little on the seedy side. Show me the way. Hmm, I don't know. But I guess we don't have much choice. Word on the street is all tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. Head west from Rogueport's main square and you'll reach, reach the side of town controlled by Don Pianta. He is a Pianta sin He's the Pianta Syndicate head. And I hear he makes pretty regular jaunts over to Gritsville. Hmm, I like the sound of this Don Pianta fellow. I cannot wait to meet him. May sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And 
Don Piante is a recruit, recluse. Just getting on with him will be difficult. So yeah, look at the top right. Sun, moon, puny, star. It's been there the entire time. And you can see a little... Uh, one of the statues, I guess, right there. It's interesting. Mario, Coops, how are you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology, wow! I'm doing great. Drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. This town seemed boring ten years ago, but I see the world differently now. I bet you, you'll like Petal Bird more than you used to once you get back from your adventure, Coops. So where are you heading next? I want to be you. I want you to see the wide world. Son, it'll be good for you. You'll grow, but don't grow too much. Else you might be too tall and fit through the front door. <laughs> Coopley. What's up, Coops? After fa after you found me, Coops, I found a nice hiding uh, hiding nook at a place called the Crystal Palace. It's so cold, my shell is frosty, but it's a great palace for hiding. Obviously, I don't want anyone to find me. The thing is, I do want people to see how good I am at hiding. You see the bind I'm in? Anyway, spread the word. Come find the wandering hide-and-seek Koopa. See you later. Or not. Koopoo. Crystal Palace. He's all the way back in Paper Mario 1. Back in the Mushroom Kingdom. I don't remember that bit of text. I don't know if that's new or if I'm just misremembering. Okay, we got three more. I'm getting up there in years, so I want me some insurance. A life mushroom. I'm in no big hurry, but sometime before my time comes would be nice. Please meet me in the great tree, tree in Boggly Woods. Alright. We already have a life stream and I haven't used it yet. But with Flurry here, is there anything new I can do in town? And I can't I can't think of it. Oh no, there is one thing I could do. I don't think it's anything special. Yes! Hold on! It's Luigi! Well, I went to Rumble Bump Volcano and got myself the, a marvel, marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventuring. It was pretty harrowing, bro. Want to hear about what happened? It's a long story. Like I said, it's a really long story, but here, wait, did I click on the wrong one? Oh, whoops. I clicked on the wrong one. I just realized that. But Ouija! I clicked on the wrong one. Oops. Can't speed through that. Well, oh, that's the fastest I can do. Okay, there we go. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. As soon as my ship docked on the Pudding Continent, I set out for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days fording through this desk jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once I thought I was done for, bro. I may have screamed a bit to uh, scare him off, you know, but as fate would have it. A blooper named Bluey heard me sh uh, shrieking and found me in this one town. Bluey was on a journey of his own, but he joined me after hearing my tale. Now, Bluey is a madman. Back in his hometown, they call him White Torpedo. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me f uh, fight to Rumble Bump Volcano. This place was all bumbling in lava pools and heat that made the sun sweat. I could make the sun sweat. And the place was rousy, lousy with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest one of all was this gigantic, 100-foot-tall statue that stomped around. Now, the weakness of this giant statue, bro, was a red gem on its forehead. Now, I could jump high, but not high enough to reach that thing by a long shot. So I came up to this pl I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit it hit that weak spot. Oh you man, I said. I waited for a pause in the statue's movements and hucked Bluey up there. And Bullseye, the white torpedo, saved the day. That jewel got whacked. It was a critical hit, and that stone statue tumbled uh toppled and crumpled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. Fortunately, Princess Equaire was nowhere to be found. But I got another piece of the marvelous compass, but in vase. Now the compass pointed west to the plump belly village on the Strudel continent. 
So I set sails once again and came back here to Rogue Rogueport to recharge. That's what happened to, to me lately, but I'll be heading back out soon. Hey there, I'm Bluey, and this guy is a total liar. Don't listen to him. You heard his story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I end up landing in the lava. Lava, man! You think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My pale skin's crispified. I'll never forgive this guy. I'm gonna make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging around with him. You'll pay, Luigi. That's it's just a funny running joke with Luigi. All of his partners join in, not because he's the hero, but they just hate his guts. That's Luigi's blooper friend, Bluey. It's totally weird to find bloopers on dry land. He seems peeved, though. I wonder why he looks all fried and to a golden crisp. Again, it's a great joke. Hello, Mario. Still working hard. Pro Professor Frankly here in E-Form again. There's something I forgot to tell you. I highly recommend that you look into attaining a certain badge. It's called First Attack. If you have that badge equipped, you can take care of weak foes with a first strike instead of fully battling it out. The badge shop at Rogueport has it available for purchase. You can get there by exiting the second before the end, so stop stop reading this and go get yourself a first attack badge. I mean, it is advice. I don't know if I'll take it. What do you got in the shop? I don't have the money. Why? Ugh, oh, slow go. Why would you want this? Yeah, I'm gonna save my money. Let's go and check out the badge so shop and see what they have. I probably won't get the first attack badge, but let's just see what they have. Alright, first attack. You know what? That's probably what she found in the Bogley tree. FP drain. Pulse call. Simplifier. Unsimplifier. Sleepy Stomp, Power Rush, Last Stand, Close Call, Pretty Lucky P, Super Appeal. <sighs> Sleepy Stomp could be useful, but I think I'm going to save my money. There's nothing there that I absolutely want. Is there anything down here at this docks? I don't think so. Oh, he's still here. Oh, my benefactor, Mario. Thanks to you and your coins, I'm ri I'm re all ready to get out there and strike it rich. Your timing is perfect. I was just about to leave. I'm so excited to begin my adventure that I'm shaking. Okay, so I guess you have a little bit more time to donate to him. So that's good to know. I guess he leaves at the end of Chapter 3, then. And again, the max you can give him is 300 coins. Right. I need to head back to Bogley Woods. Hmm. Uh, right now, we'll... There is something I can have Flurry do before we go there. We'll do that very quick. It won't take that long. Oh! Let's power up partners. Let's power up both of them. Well, at least Coops. There is a part of me that's thinking of saving the three shine sprites for our next partner. I don't know. Maybe we'll just power up. Yeah, we'll power up Flurry. Yeah, we'll power her up. You could skip this animation if you want. Gives you the option. 
which is nice. Nice to, way to speed up, speed up things. This game does give you a, a few options to speed up certain minial, not minial, but like minor animations like that, as well as the cooking. So it's a nice change. It's just too bad we cannot do multiple uh, troubles at once. That would make it so much better. Apparently. Whoa, what's the meaning of this? I found my secret way in. Dang. Look, a lot of, shall we say, sketchy requests get submitted here. So don't tell any don't tell anyone that we're the ones running the trouble center, okay? That's Goose. Turns out the trouble center is being run by him and the Ishnel boys. He may look violent, but he's actually an intellectual. People surprise you, you know, huh? Is it implying that like some of like Don Pianta's men would throw in a trouble request and they're just like throwing it out because they don't want to help Don Pianta? There's probably other things that they probably sort through too, but like that's one of the things I'm thinking of, that they probably do. How many star pieces do I have? Four? Nah, I don't think I'll uh, go visit the store. Okay, off back to the tree. We don't need to go back to Petalburg. Imagine if we went back to Petalburg and Bowser's there. And we can r run into Bowser. But sadly, as far as I'm aware, that's not the case. That's not what I meant to do. Let's open this path. What? Wait a minute. Huh? What? This is new. This is new room. New content. What the? Oh, th did they just make the warp room a single room this time? Okay. What does that do? Oh, is it a rematch? Wait, why is there a pipe there? Oh, is there a sh is that a shortcut? Hold on. Yeah, there's now a shortcut down there. An even faster way to get to the thousand, uh, to get to the warp room. Oh, that's such, that's so nice. Hold on, before going through there, I think this, I think literally these are just the warp rooms. Because if you go through here. Yeah, and it leads over here. Okay, so. When I went on this side and I knew I could go through the bars I saw the door I'm like thinking to myself how would I get out I would be trapped but it turns out because this door would have been sealed because you didn't have flurry but there would have been a shortcut out so literally they just got rid of two rooms and put them as a single room pipe to Petalburg. yeah this is just the warp room Oh, this is so nice. This is such a nice, uh, uh, convenient way to change it. Boo. Yeah, I do want boss rematches, if that could be a thing, but maybe that's a post-game thing. Don't give up hope, act. There, that could be a post-game thing. Ah, oh, here, yes. Thank you faster way to the Bakui tree. Huh. 
I do wonder if they actually added things to post-game other than just... Actually, no, just added anything to post-game. What? You're the gent that said you helped me out, right? I'm counting on you. I'm getting on in years, so I'd feel safer if I had a life mushroom around. Luckily, I already had one. Oh, glory! You got one! A life mushroom! Lovely! Thank you, Marty O. And you made it before I actually needed it! Phew! Here, take this reward. A life mushroom is like health insurance. I'll live a long life now, for certain. So does that... Life shrooms, I kind of thought, it's almost like you go unconscious and it just brings you back up, right? But no, they're implying life shrooms can just literally bring you back from the dead. <laughs> so, does that mean anyone could just live forever if they just carry a life shroom with them? Is that what it's implying? I, I think that's what it's implying. With As long as you have a right life shroom, anyone can live forever. You might need to carry multiples on you sometimes, but... This is a nice change. This is a nice change. And honestly... The two rooms uh, in the other one, they're both kind of the same rooms, copy and paste. And what it does, there's like there's like a tall pl uh, platform up here for one of the pipes and one over here. And then there's like an elevator that goes up and down here. And honestly, I just get annoyed whenever I have to deal with it because sometimes I miss the little elevator. And I just have to wait wait for it, you know? So this is this is a better change. I approve of this change. All right. Let's do another trouble. Okay. The Pianta Parlor is now having its grand opening event. Whee! Whoever takes this request uh, gets a token of appreciation from La uh, Lala, the cute kitty boo. That's me. We're waiting at Rogueport's west side. Please come qu quickly. Yes. Let's go to the Pianta Parlor. Take on this request, then... Do something. I don't know what we're doing. We're just going to the grand reopening, I guess. Alright. Nothing new here from what I can tell. Hi there, Mo there. Hi, hello there, Mario. Welcome to the parlor. Oh, you took my trouble. That's so super. Well, okay, here's your token of appreciation. Hehe, <laughs> don't tell anybody. Hey, what's the matter? You look disappointed. 10 Pianta tokens of appreciation are way better than just one. So go on, enjoy the parlor. Play and win. Not really a trouble, it's just a way to get you hooked into gambling. <laughs> Rescue the princess is important, but it can wait. What what can I show you? Let's try the playing game. In this game, you turn in a paper airplane and com complete to see how far you can fly. The further you fly, the more piantas you win. If you land on one of the platforms with numbers, you will get a bonus. Or if you land on a penalty tile, you lose piantas. So be careful when landing. Okay, it will cost you 10 piantas to play. Again, this is just a ruse to get you hooked into gambling. <laughs> Good luck. Let's try. 
plus 3, minus 5, plus 1, minus 10, plus 3, plus 5, times 2. That's what we need to go for. Alright. Let's see if I can do good. Okay, reds are 3 piantas. Uh, nope, 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 ah, I didn't get the plus three. But I did get a profit of two coins. So, that's good. The piantas earned, oh, okay, I see how it is. The farther you go, you get piantas, and then you get the ones you collect. So, there we go. No, that, that was worth it. Now we're good. Yeah, I think the playing game is, like, my preferred way of getting Piantas, but maybe there are better ones. But that's all we could do at the moment. Don't forget to rescue Princess Peach! Piantas Changer... Oh, wait, no, I don't need to talk to you. We don't need to do slots. I actually want to trade in winnings. I am going to get... Cake mix. Is there anything? Oh, right. I could get an FP plus. Because I do feel like I need that. Let's start with cake mix, though. It's cheap. We'll probably be coming back. I'll probably try to get an FP plus. At least I didn't have to pay money to get some coins, you know? So it was totally worth holding off on the Pianta Parlor until now. But first, I want you to make something with this cake mix. Alright, what do you make? Moose cake. 15 FP. I know. So that's not bad. That's really good. So, so far, our best form... Oh, wait. Oh. Are we loading or did we crash? No, we're loading. Okay, that's fine. So, so far, our best forms of FP recovery items... Can I sort? Yes. So far, our best forms of re FP recovery items is getting a Koopa Leaf and then cook it to make Koopa Tea. And that's basically free. You just need to take the time to go to Petalburg. And with the shortcuts now, it's even faster. Or you make... Or you play the playing game, get a good amount of coins, and then just buy a cake mix for 15 So, because I only have 5 FP, I don't need the moose cake. I will throw one in storage, though. I could probably throw one of these in storage. I don't need it. 5 FP. I could throw, I could throw that in. And we'll throw that in, too. Uh, sure. Alright. And again. Oh, it's gonna be so easy to make money now. You can just quickly go between the two stores. Oh, no. They made it even easier to grind, uh, to do the sleep, uh, infinite money trick. Timing tuner. Oh, my God. Jump man and hammer man. Oh, these are fun. Increase your attack. Your jump attack power by one, but you cannot use your hammer. I have a feeling these could be fun to use. And you can make specific builds with these. Mm. 
I don't know. Let's do more tattle, uh, troubles. Why do I keep saying tattles? We'll probably just be doing a lot of just side quest stuff. We probably won't be going to chapter three today. We'll see, though. I don't know if we're going to start. Last one. I need you to save my dad. I'll be waiting at the entrance of the pit of hundred trials beneath Rogueport. If you help me, I'll give you my treasure as a reward. A member's card for the Pianta Parlor. Well, I did say I was thinking of going to the pit of hundred trials. Now we're going to do just that. So, I think it's just faster. Actually, maybe, well, maybe it is still faster to go this route. And then go through this way. Yeah, I think ultimately this was faster. This is so nice. And now we just need to use the paper airplane again. Come on. Up here. I have a feeling I'm probably going to spend a little bit of time at the playing game. Try to get some tokens. Get that FP plus. I need it. Alright. You took out my trouble. Oh, thank the stars. This is just terrible. My dad went into the pit of 100 trials and never came back. He lost his job and said the only way to support us was the pit's treasure. Clearly, he doesn't know about buying sleepy sheeps and then selling them for a two-coin profit. He doesn't know about that. But I don't need treasure. I just want my dad back. Please help him. It's a good idea to save. Again, he did, we don't know how far he is. And I don't know how far I'll go, but we're going to just get this started. Okay, Gumbella. Tattle it. That's a Goom Gloomba. It likes dark, damp places. Max, max HP 7, attack is 3, and defense is 0. It's stronger than a normal Goomba, so be careful. That's not a healthy color for a Goomba, but it doesn't mean it's sick or anything. So don't show any mercy. Well, I got him now. Easy. What? Okay. Yeah, only one star point because you can fight these guys a lot sooner. I would love to get to floor 50. I am not sure how well I can I can make it to 450. This is where first strike would be very nice to have. So they all have three HP. Multi if I had mul not multi bounce, multi jump, it would only deal two damage per hit. Quake hammer. Yeah, sure. I was gonna say Quick Hammer or use Coops, but they kind of do the same thing. I didn't get the timing right. Yeah, I'm not getting the timing right. I'm probably better using use enough damage dodge instead. What's 
going on, Molly? What? Are you needy? Are you wanting attention? Are you wanting attention? Is that what's going on? There we go. Zero damage. At least I have the regen right now. It's actually benefiting me. Yeah, all of that for only one star point. Molly, hey. Hey, that's enough. Come on. Up here. Come on. Are you wanting attention? Come here. Come here. Come on. Up. Come on. Come on. Up. Come on. There you go. Hi. You got your bone. I see that. You gonna chew on your bone? Okay. We're gonna need coops for this. At least I think we do. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. I do two, that's five. Okay. We're gonna ignore the spike guy. And go after the glo Gloomba. Actually, wait a minute. Hold on. I forgot. Koops is now powered up. Oh, and he has Shell Shield now. There. Now he does three damage. Totally worth it. Keep going. I think his dad is actually at one of the, like, at the, every 10th floor sort of thing. So he might be on floor 10 or floor 20. Uh, okay. If I swap, no, I don't need to swap to Gundala. I could just use Coops. There we go. Yeah, this is where first strike would be nice. There we go. Got my FP back. Oh, look, it's fuzzies. Okay, so they have 3 HP, and now we can Power Shell. Oh, I, wait. What happened? Well, I did it right. How come I only did two damage? Did I mess it up? I must have. Uh, it worked out, but... At least I got the super guards. So it worked out fine. Again, jumping's way better, because I can do four damage this way. Let's see. I guess we'll just attack normally. No reason to use that. Yeah. There we go. And we're making money out of this, too. Some okay money. We're getting a clear bonus for these for whatever reason. So we'll see what I can buy at the bat for badges after this. Oh, I didn't get the first strike. Hmm. 
Oops. Yeah, I messed it up somehow last time. Actually, in this case, I think using Cooper would have dealt more damage. Yeah, he does three now. So, the first strike with Cooper would have been, or Coops would have been better. Oh, they must have a def They, You know what, they probably have a point of defense. At least he has more defense. Even if I fail. No, he has no defense. Hmm. I guess I just messed it up. No, get out of here. We haven't really gotten many audience members that just threw good stuff at me. We've mostly been throwing, trying to throw rocks or, you know, soda cans at me. Yeah, I think we're done with the new enemies until the 11th floor. Oh, okay. This guy is a mover. You can pay him coins and he'll have he'll let you skip some floors. But there's no reason to use him right now. This is it is random where he could pop up. But we're better off at three. Because we're on the tenth floor. And in here we get a sleepy stomp. Alright. What am I batch points looking like. Okay. I almost want to mess around with Jumpman. Even though I don't have it yet. Sleepy Stomp. Shrink Stomp for less attack. Lowering an attack. I don't think I need Multi Bounce. Um, I don't really like using Charge, so... I don't think I need Piercing Blow to ignore defense. I think I'll... For now, multi-bounce. I'm almost basically set up to do like a Hammerman run. Or no, a Jumpman run. But I don't have the badge. I'm almost set up in that way. Okay, first I need Goomba. Take a second to get rid of this guy. Now time to tattle. That's a par paragloomba. It's a goomba. It's a gloomba with wings. Max HP seven, attack of three, defense of zero. It's like a stronger version of a paragloomba, and maybe that's all there is to it. I wonder if Livy down here ever makes its wings moldy. Yuck! It's too gross to even think about. Blech. There we go. I got the super guard. All right. I'm hmm. so I can lower the defense. I can make them sleepy. You know, what? let's let's test some stuff out. Power jump. I want to see how much I do. Six damage. Okay. 
Good to know. That either does the same amount as the super jump, as the spin jump, or it does one more point. Hold on. It's a single. T it's a single attack. Let's see. Let's first get rid of the dark puff. Multi bounce is not going to help me. Jen. All right, I am going to test something. Let's start with testing out spin jump again, because I think I did it wrong last time. Six damage. I don't think I need power jump. It costs the same amount. And ultimately, I deal six damage either way. Basically, it's asking, do you want to make it a, a single jump instead of two? I think we don't need power jump anymore. I think it's kind of pointless. Uh, how about we throw in... Piercing Blow at the moment. Just to have. I think once we got the spin jump, we don't need power jump anymore. If the enemy has defense, I have the defense down one, you know? Pokies. I'm gonna run into you. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the cloud first. That's a pokey. It's a cactus go uh, ghoul that got nasty spine uh, spines all over its body. HP of four, attack of three, defense of zero. Look at those spines. Those would totally hurt. If you stomp on it, you'll regret it. Pokies attack by lobbing parts of their bodies and charging at you. They can even call friends for help, so be quick about taking them out. I didn't get it right. All right, now let's just use the hammer. Actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, if I went with Jump Man, I wouldn't be able to utilize it effectively without Spike Shield, you know? Because some enemies like that, I just wouldn't be able to deal with. Granted, in, like the, in cases like those, I either just have to have Cooper, or sorry, Coops take care of it, or I would have to use something like Earth Tremor, or just an item. Something to think about. Yeah, full FP. I want to test this out. Okay, they're susceptible to sleep. For five turns, too. That lasts a while. I never usually mess with status effects like that. So, seeing that they could be put to sleep like that might actually be useful. Granted, it's single target. But if a big enemy is about to attack... Like, they charge up for an attack, but you can't get rid of them in time? That might be one th one way to go. Hmm. Okay. If 
5 HP. Neither of you can take them down in a single shot. Multi-bounce, I can get rid of one by weakening the others. Let me, hold on, let me check Flurry very quick. What can you do? Lip lock, uh, basically a drain. That's a single target, though. You know what? I think in this case, it's probably best to use... Set a bomb that immobilizes characters for a short period of time. So that's basically stop. I still think we're better off with Earth Tremor. Gotta max it out anyway. Actually, another a reason to potentially go with the time soft instead of uh, Earth Tremor is that you could spend time building star points back up. Like just in case you need it for the next fight. No first strike. Okay. In this case... If I sleepy stomp one of them... I would have Goombella attack the other. But that wouldn't... I'm still getting attacked by one character anyway. So I'm better off just attacking normally. Unless I attempted multi bomb. That probably could have I could have attempted that. Damage dodge. Well, that's on me for not getting the timing, right? There we go. A little bit unnecessary on some of getting hit some of those times, but whatever. Yeah, it wasn't really worth going for Sleep Stomp. I would have gotten attacking, attacked by a single Gloomba anyway. It didn't really make a difference. Okay, uh, Quake Hammer. There we go. Yeah, imagine if I had Jumpman equipped. Be like, oh no, this has to be done with coops and, like, super guards. We haven't needed to use Sweet Treat in a while. There's the dad! First, we'll take care of the Pokemon. Easy fight. I didn't get the timing right. Oh well! There's a beaten up me lying on the ground. Huh? What? Who are you? Wow! Wow. Did you come here just to save me? Really? Pine T Jr. did. Wow. In that case, 
I have to get back to him alive. Show me the way out. How far are we? Eight, level 18. Okay. out there. It's a good thing I already have quick change. That would actually quick change is actually affecting some of the strategy. Because if I didn't have quick change, I would have probably used sleep uh sleep stomp there. Well actually I I didn't need to swap. He fell on the ground. Never mind. I don't know. I was overthinking it. I overthought it. Hey! The exit! Pinty Jr. I'm on my way home! Fire drive. Ooh, I was I was hoping to get that one. I didn't realize it was this quick. Ooh, I might throw that in. What do you got? Chairman Joey's for 350. They're way more expensive here. Finally done with work. Ah, congrats, act. Finally done. You just saw me save the father, and I got fire drive. And I'm thinking of continuing on with the pit. Okay, fire drive. I could unequip shrink stomp, multi bounce. Because this lowers attack. Long stream? I mean, I'm thinking we'll go a little bit longer. Don't know how much longer. Uh, but we'll go a little bit longer. Piercing blow. Considering the fact that I started way late. Drive, yes. Let's do another 10. Let's attempt another 10 and see if we can get any farther. So far, the uh, those 10 rounds weren't that bad. Let's see what we got. Okay. I have 7 HP. I already know that. That's a spiky Goomba. It's a spiky Goomba that likes dark places. HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. Its attack is pretty high, huh? I'm sure you know this, but try not to jump on the spike. I wonder if I'd look like that if I stay down here long enough. I'd rather not think about that. Are, are there tanning salons in Rogueport? Oh, that guy has 12 HP! Because he has the badge equipped! That, okay. Oh, I'm so glad we actually have full FP for this. Fire drive. Now they're burned. Okay, gotta be careful. They really don't like Mario. So now what we can do is we can swap to Koops. And I guess we'll just power shell. And then I'll use the normal hammer. Right, I only have two damage with the hammer. But with the super guard, it was enough. And now he's dead. Because of the burn. This is why I like fire drive. I like burning the enemies. It can usually end the bat end a turn like you know, one turn sooner than what would normally happen. But with five FP points, that's that's a big ask. I can't do that every battle. Let's see. Ooh, 
bandits. Okay. Can't fire dot mode drive, so that sucks. Tattle. That's a bandit! This scumbag tries to bump you and grab coins. Jerk. HP 5, attack 2, defense 0. If you time your guard well when he attacks, he won't be able to steal anything. Plus, the look on the bandit's face when you guard successfully is priceless. If a bandit steals a coin from you, defeat him before he flees to get your coins back. Well, I don't need to do much more. Good. So now we swap to Koops. Sadly, we won't be able to take him out this turn. Mario could have really used a hammer upgrade, but oh well. Come on. There we go, super card. Still not getting good EXP out of this. Still pretty easy fights. Good, now I can fire drive if I need to. Oh, lackey too, okay, hold on. Let's see. Okay. This might actually be hard. Okay, let me get rid of Black 2 first before he uses that item. Tattle? Let's get rid let's focus on Black 2. That's a Lackey 2! It's a member of the Koopa clan that rides on clouds. HP 5, attack 2, defense is 0. It attacks by throwing spiny eggs. If you stomp on it when it's holding up a spiny egg, you'll take damage, so don't do it. Spiky eggs slowly hatch into spinies, so beat the lackey tube before fighting the spinies. Ah, this book doesn't answer my real question. Where does it keep all those spiny eggs? Guard. Okay, because I... Because I super guarded... Uh... He's gonna want to blow up. But if I attack with the hammer? There we go. That works out. Nope. Nope. Well, I was trying to use the D-pad. That was the problem. That's a bob -omb. It attacks by blowing itself up. Yeah, real smart. HP 4, attack 2, defensive 1. A bob -omb will totally get totally mad if you damage it. They have, like, super short fuses. When it gets mad, it will charge and explode on the next turn. That attack really hurts. Oh, and if it's mad, it'll blow up on the slightest contact, so don't attack directly. Attack it from a step away with a hammer, or hit it with something hard, like a shell. Okay, I did not do the timing right. So let's focus on getting rid of the lack tube. I'll worry about the bomb later. Probably need to heal because I'm not getting my super guards timing right. Yeah, okay. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh no, they have a defense point, that's right. So now I'll use the hammer. There we go. I think if I use fire drive, or dive, it would just bl blow him up immediately. Not sure on that, though. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna have to consider healing soon. But we're making pretty okay money right now. Uh, I don't have 
Yeah, coops. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna find out. Fire drive. Yep, blows them all out. That works. That totally works. Okay, can't rely on that for another battle. Oh, uh, yeah. Have a good dinner act. Ooh, booze. Let's see, what do we got? That's a boo. It's everyone's favorite ghost. Well, most everyone. HP seven, attack three, defense is zero. It's nothing to write home about on the arca on the attack side, but it can turn itself or allies invisible. If it turns invisible, we won't be able to hit it, so beat it while you can see it. Those are kind of cute, but I sure wouldn't want to meet one in a dark alley. If I ran to one in the bathroom in the middle of the night, I... Well, never you mind what I do. I can't fire drive. I need to be able to... Hmm. Let's sleepy stomp. Oh, booze can't be put to sleep. Yeah, I need to do this. Super dark. Okay. So, I can have Bella attack the boo. I can have Mario attack the boo. For higher attack power. That was not planned, but it worked out. Okay, five damage, five HP left. Um, how much HP do I have? I have eight. Yeah, we'll keep going. I think I'll level up in the next battle. So I think I'm willing to just keep going. Maybe I should have sweet treat, but... I'm thinking I'll be fine for another fight. Hopefully I'll be fine for another fight. And we got a dizzy dial. I have to use that. I can already tell the enemies are getting stronger. I think we're not going to go further than, than what I'm already doing. Okay. I can't fire dive. Or drive. I could power shell. I think I will do that. Oh, I messed that up. I... Mm. You know what? Earth Tremor. I'm gonna level up after this anyway. There we go. Six damage, one hit KOs, basically. And level up. Batch points. Yeah, 
get a full refill. I might as well throw my jump ones back in. It's not going to hurt anything. Shrink stop, multi bounce, piercing blow. There we go. What floor am I on? 26? Okay. Yeah, I think I won't go further than this. I feel like I need better stuff, maybe. Okay. 5 HP. Um, you know what? I think we'll go with Fire Drive. Yeah, it gets weaker as it goes on. But what that means now is I can swap to Goombella. I can have Goombella jump on the one in the far back. And fail the jump command. Is that they now have like a char a, I'm about ready to charge animation sort of thing. So I'm not used to that. To me, there's a delay. <laughs> Let's go with this one. Yeah, I'm not used to that little charge animation. There we go. Oh, hold on. We have a Fright Mask. I should really use some of these items. And lack two. Okay. Get. Oh. Uh, I didn't get the preemptive. Hmm. What is the best option here? You know what? Let's use up that Fright Mask. Yeah, get out of here. Okay, so unlike Gale Force, you don't get the you don't get EXP for it. The only reason you get the one is that I think the game is just guaranteed to give you at least one EXP per fight. Well, we use up the item. Fire drive. And now I'll head bonk the one in the front. There we go. Get rid of you. Oh, you just raised your elevation. You basically just wasted your turn, my dude. What a waste. I don't feel sorry for you. I think I'm gonna go further than this. Zap tap, okay. I remember I remember liking Zap Tap in the first Paper Mario. Then I tried it here and I don't think it's as good. My dad's back! Sorry for troubling you. I guess health and family really are the most important things, you know. I'll look for new work, and I got to be strong for my dear son. 
Thank you so much. I'll give you my treasure as a reward. It's really important to me, but nothing's more important than my dad here. And we got the silver card. Now, if you excuse me, and really thank you. And, and really, thank you so much, Mario. Thank you so much. Whatever. Well, that's done. That's all the troubles we could do at the moment. So... I think I'll just... Spend time in the Pianta Parlor and get the FP Plus, I guess. What the? Is there a towel for this? This is a big yellow block. It looks too sturdy to break with your current hammer. But if you find a more powerful hammer, then... Look out, block! Look out, block! There we go. That's the... That's the more correct way to sound, make it sound. Let's see what the traveling salesman has currently. Hopefully, he has a useful badge for me. Alright. Come on, what do you got? Okay, we can buy Jump Man. Yeah, let's buy it. Only 2 BP. We made pretty good money in the Pit of 100 Trials. So does he still have the same stuff? He doesn't restock it when you buy something, right? Yeah, okay. It's a timing thing. Or, like, in-game clock or whatever. Alright. Play multi-bounce. If I'm using Jump Man, I really gotta commit to it. And I won't need any of these then. Um, you know what? Why not? Why not have Zap Tap if I'm doing this? All right, we're going Jump Man. Our attack power is up by one extra point, but we have we cannot use the hammer. No fire drive. No fire drive for me. We'll see how how long I keep this equipped. I think we'll spend some time gambling. All right, members card. Or in the mini game, you can play with the members card. How exciting! We can play the paper game. Let's try it out. You have to get paper thin with ZR to avoid the wind and get to the finish. If you don't turn paper thin as soon as the wind starts blowing, you'll get blown away. If you fall off the track, you lose. The higher the, the higher you place, the more piantas you win. The shorter your time, the more bonus points you get. So get to the goal as fast as you can. Ten coins. Let's go. Stay on your toes. Let's give it a go. Okay, let's take a look at the track. Yeah, there's fans everywhere, so you gotta be ready to go paper thin at any moment. Looks like some of them are higher up, so meant to throw you off, maybe. Alright, let's go. Made it in time. Oh, you can jump over some of those pits, okay. Down line. Oh, I thought it was higher up. Made it, first place. So, I get 10 Piantas for being in first place. 
for having a good time, I get 17, and then I have 8 more. Well, Piantas earned four, 14. What? Okay, whatever. Uh, it must be as a multiplier. 41. Wow, that was quick. Doing that again, that was good. That was good. That was very quick. This is a better way to go, I think. Hey, Luigi's here! And Koopy Koopy. Okay. That didn't work. Uh, try it again. I gotta remember, I can actually jump some of these pits. able to get so far without the wind blowing, like moving him forward. Second first place, made it. I got 34 out of that. Didn't make good as good as time, but you know, it worked out. Still made a profit. Try that again. Dang it, I fell. And I thought I was paper thin. Right, like I was waiting for that. Oh well. Let's try it again. I think I needed 150 to get the FP plus. First place, barely though. 38. Yeah, this is actually this is way better than the paper than the paper airplane. The wind pushed me up a bit. Nope, don't want that. This. There we go. Sometimes I gotta use the wind to my advantage. There we go. Even way better time. Made it. I want to make sure I have extra coin piantas just in case I so I don't have to buy them anymore. Okay. Yes. 
saw that happen. Uh, and first place. There we go. Um, let's do one more time. One more time. I want to have a lot extra. Perfect. Okay. I have plenty extra to work with. That did not take long. I thought that would take a lot longer. Trade my winnings. Oh, new stuff. Wait, these were added. Wait, said. Yeah, I don't remember some of these being here. Anyway, FP plus. And I'll leave it at that. Back with foods. What'd you get, Act? What'd you get? I just got FP plus, and I think I'll unequip... Uh, HP plus. Popeyes. You know, I've never actually had Popeyes. Actually, wait, no. No, I, I did have Popeyes. I got it confused with a different one. Yeah, I've only had Popeyes a couple times. Alright. Um, hmm. What else is there that I can do? I don't know if I want to start Chapter 3. I can't go to the left. Is there anything in here I could do? Can't go in there. Don't need to buy tips. The shop is not going to be useful for me. I could think of. Is there a spot I can use Flurry? Hmm. I don't think so. Can't open that up. I could check to see if I could exchange star pieces, but... Hmm. down here. Well, what else could I do? I think I've done most of the cleanup. Oh, there is something I can do here. Come on. There's that. Well, actually, it doesn't mean much. Yeah, even though I have Jumpman equipped, I can still use the hammer on the first strikes. More FP. That's so useful. Okay, let's swap you out with Poops. There we go. I'll probably end up using one soon. I'll see if there's anything I could buy with star points, but... Star pieces, I mean, whatever. I can open this up, but ultimately... Oh, nope, there's a pipe here. I got confused because you can take... You can go over here and you can't do anything. But no, there's a pipe. Let's take a look. And it's a shortcut to the Pit of 100 Trials. Which we don't need. 
What else can I do? I guess we could start the prep for chapter three and just get ready to go to Glitzville. I guess we could do that. Because I can't think of anything else I could do. Paper airplane game, uh, the Pianta Parlor really did not take that long. I mean, the only other option is to try to get farther in the Pit of 100 Trials, but no thanks, I don't need to do that. Do next chapter? I think we could start the next, or get get it prepped and ready to go for tomorrow. Which badge do you want to trade for? Um... Honestly, there really isn't anything that I want. Pretty lucky. Chill out. Time. There isn't really anything that I actually want, so... I guess we'll just use some of this up. Because I got, I got what I want. Item hog might not be bad. Maybe I'll save up for that next time. What was in here again? Oh, right. Oh, also, um, I thought... Sound gallery. gallery. So I do have all the Chapter 2 songs now. Want to get rid of the little... Oh, there's a new thing here. Evasions, time bonds ticking. Battle two. And then chapter two, think. When does this activate? Right. Anyway. Again, you get these for getting all the shine sprites. Art gallery is every star piece. Anyway. Oh, I guess we could get the next chapter Sorry, I can't think I can't think of anything else that we could do. So I think all we were told is that we need to meet with Don Pianta. That's all we were told to do. Actually, have you changed your stock? You have. Well, buy Hammerman. Now we have that as an option. So if I want to swap things around, we could go that route. Now I really want to use the money to get the warrior emblem. Alright. Let's... How are you su- Okay. Uh... How were you supposed to find the information for... Getting to meet with the, with the boss? I know we're supposed to we're supposed to buy these in a certain order kind of like dry dry at ruins in the first game I know it involves the dried mushroom and I think the volt mushroom but I forget the order I don't remember the order exactly and now I'm trying to remember how we're supposed to meet with him if you know the order you could just buy by the things, and then she'll be like, oh, I'll open the door for you. You want to go see the boss. Hold on, there must be a way to meet Dampianta. You want to try getting any information on the west side? Okay. I guess we just need to talk to someone here. 
because I, I actually forget what we're, what order we're supposed to buy. How refreshing. This is my favorite place. Peaceful area. No. It might be someone in uh, the, PR, uh, the parlor. Are you holding up? What's that you say? You're looking for Don Pianta, the person who runs this place. Well, if you want to learn about more, if you want to learn about the criminal underworld of Rogueport, find Ishnail in the east part of town. There we go. Okay. So, obviously, Don Pianta, you know, gets his money from the casino. That's where he gets most of his stuff. But let's let's be honest here. Does Don Pianta like smuggle any Mario Universe drugs? Because He's got to do more than just own a casino, right? He's the Don. There's got to be more going on, right? Go visit Ishmael. I mean, it can't be mushrooms. Because shrooms are already just a normal thing in Mario Universe. Unless there's a special kind of mushroom that does what we think mushrooms typically do. What's something, chump? This is the fortress of the Roma Thieves. You lost? What business brings a chump like you to a place like this? Say it. Say it ain't vacation. What's that? You want to meet that lion cheating, stealing, no good, jer no good jerky for brains, Dom Pianta? Real thieves like us end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here look knowing all that? And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? You know all that and you still want to want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it'll cost you 64 coins. And no budging on the price. Not a single coin. Infos. Inside info is pricey. Take them them's the brakes. I actually don't have the money. You'll pay. Really? Yeah, you heard me. You don't have enough cash. You dirty cheat. You can't pull a fast one on this snail. Please, come back after you knock over a bank or something, chump. So, again... I think he just tells you what order to buy stuff at his shop. So you don't even actually have to talk to Ishmael if you know the password. I don't have coins. Um, do we do Sleepy Sheep? Sleepy Sheep Run? And sell stuff? Two coins per profit? Is there a faster way to get coins? Probably just fighting in Boggly Woods, right? I already wasted all my money on the Pit of Hutch Trials. Thanks, Jumpin' Hammer Man. Let's see if we can get some extra money out of here, over here. Oh! I didn't even see that. FP Plus. I could have used that a lot sooner. Okay. I didn't even notice that was there. I guess we'll just fight some enemies in the Boggly Tree, hope to get some extra coin. I don't even know if this is like the faster route. <laughs> it might actually be faster to just do the whole sleepy sheep selling trick. Because this warp pipe is actually a lot faster. You can easily do it. Well, I'm here now. We'll just stick with it. I was going to say, there's enemies here, right? Okay. So I have jump man equipped. Let's get poops out here. I think a normal jump is all I need. There we go. I don't care about the EXP. All 
How many coins do I get? Three? Oh, great. Probably would have been better off selling sheep. Alright, power shell, I guess. And we'll just have to normal jump. To make Jumpman way more useful, I would love Spike Shield. And that's like the only other thing that would work well with this setup. With Hammer Man, though, if I wanted Hammer Man, I think it would be best if I had Hammer Throw. So, like Fire Drive, Hammer Throw, Quake Hammer, Piercing Hammer. Well, it's just Mr. Mustache. The Jabbies are up ahead. I haven't built a fortress in a while, and they've been calm, which is ominous. I don't remember ever seeing this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry we were used by those outsiders. We learned from our mistake. That's what he looks like he wants to say. I don't remember this. That's a Jabby. This... Stingy looking beaks on jabbies are kind of scary. Getting stung is not cool. Do they all kind of say the same thing? Ah, I'm so busy. So busy! Life isn't easy for us jabbies. No, sir. That's what he looks like he wants to say. That's a jabby. I can tell by. I can't tell one from another, though. I'm sure they could tell themselves apart. Yikes! It's Mario! Don't pick on me! That's what he looks like he wants to say. That's a jabby. It doesn't seem like they've been fighting with the punies at all lately. Sweet. That tiny pink top puny girl is so cute. That's what he looks like he wants to say. That's a jabby. The punies are pretty weird, but boy, so are these so are the jabbies. I mean, what do they eat? Where'd Jobble go? Did he sneak back to the shop? That's what it looks like he wants to say. They have wings, but they just go on the ground. Is that considered walking? I want to punch that one puny bully right in his paunch. His paunch? What's a paunch for a puny? Is it like the pom pom thing? And that's all you need to know, smart guy. That's all. I only need to know that he's jabby. Okay, thanks. It just sounds like, Goombella, you just had nothing more to say. I think you're just making excuses. Man. I could have been fighting enemies. <laughs> but no. Here I am, talking to jabbies. Wasting more time. <laughs> I don't remember some of this dialogue. I don't think I ever took the time to come all the way back here. I mean, why would you? So yeah, if you need money, don't do this. Going back into the Pit of Hundred Trials would actually be better for your time. Power shell. And I guess we'll just normal jump. Okay, right now, I am committed. I'm keep stay in Bogley Woods, I guess. Totally not worth doing it this route. 
It's too bad I also can't jump across. Oh, come on. There we go. I think I'm better off just attacking one at a time right now. Shell toss. Ooh, Bella won't be able to one hit kill in either of them. Oh, I didn't. I was paying attention. Weaken the other guy. Come on, attack. And moves back up. Normal jump. Yeah, I'm not even here for the EXP. It's not even that worth it. Ah, oh, two more coins. Come on. Please get more coins out of this. Or did I claim it all? Oh, you know what? Let's get back in here. Because I did not see what Gubo has to say. This door was made by Crump and his cronies. It doesn't match the decor of this tree at all. We should be able to pass through it when the lamp over the door is green. Use the controls on that on that side panel. Is there any other coins I could get from bushes? Or is it a one-time thing? It's really seeming like it's a one-time thing. That's annoying. Yeah, Molly. Yeah, I know. You want attention? Is that what you want? You want attention? Come here. Here. Here's some attention. Some attention. Oh, did I make a mistake? I think I did. Oh, yeah. Okay. I made a mistake. <laughs> That's a dead end. All right, Molly. It's a dead end. Honestly, at this point, I'd be better off... Uh, find a sleepy sheep. I only need two coins anyway. I can make I can make a two coin profit. But wait a minute, I will need more money after that. I'll need more money to figure out what I need to buy. I could just look it up. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure there's more jabbies on the left side. I want to see what they say. All right, Molly. All right. Actually, wait a minute. That's a puny. So what do you think that noise is that punies make when they walk anyway? Is that noise coming from their bodies? And if so, which part? And why? Jabby's up ahead. I want to go deeper into the tree. They can't be that tough. There's so much extra dialogue here. Huh? A bully. That's what he looks like he wants to say. That's a jabby. They always make a weird face, like, huh? What did I do? What? Did you actually tell what they're... Can you... You can actually tell what they're thinking? Get out! You know, that guy, Lord Crump, who fooled us? His feet just reeked, like... Like you read about. That's a jabby. I guess they lived in the Great Tree for a while, too. Too bad they hate punies. Mario, what do you do for a living anyway? Is there any money in princess saving? You know, he's asking the real questions here, but we already know Mario's a plumber. That's Jabby. Why do you think that, uh, why do you think they don't get along with the punies? I just gotta know. I want to talk to, uh, to that puny with the spots, but how? All right, Molly, are you, are you done with the attention? That's a jabby. I bet a lot of them are really nice if you get to know them. Or not. Hi. Uh, um, uh, um, 
What should I play today? That's a jabby, all right. Uh, let me see. Hmm. I think this one might be Jabu La. Or was it Jabu Bibbidi? Jabu Bibbidi. What? Are you are you good, Molly? Are you good? Are you done with the attention? Are you done with the neediness? Come here. Okay. We're good. All right. You found your toy. She found the toy. Now I have to know. I met a jobby baby here earlier, and the little guy gave me a mushroom. But I wonder if that mushroom was... Nah, never mind. He wouldn't. That's a poony. Yep, sure is. Look, what's wrong with just leaving it at that? No good, huh? She's running out of things to say. Boy, that guy, Puniper, he really, really likes Petuni. In fact, the other day, I saw him pining for Petuni from the shadows of the woods. Huh? What was I doing? I was hiding in the shadows, pining for Poony. Petuni, duh. Oh, sweet, sweet Petuni. You are so adorable. It's a Poony. Hey, what is that on the top of their heads anyway? It's so weird. I swear, I just can't figure out, figure these little things out. Want to say Poony, or I just want to squish it so badly. I can't help myself. I mean, it's just so squishy. You know what I mean? I can't help it. It says, squish me. You have any plans that involve a squishy orb, Mario? Gee, that's too bad. That's a poony. What else can I tell you? I, I I guess that's all that that needs to be said. The store is amazing, isn't it? What do you call stuff like this? High tech? But you know, that pipe there is even more impressive. How does it even work anyway? At this point, it's starting to feel like they should have been called uh Plentus. What do you have to say? I just encountered some Jappies a little bit ago, and they said, all said hi. I guess they aren't all bad. That's a Poony. Look, I already told you, I can't tell them apart except for Poonio and his friends. Get any good laugh out of some of this. Yeah, you know what? Oh, I missed one. But yeah, I'm thinking it might be best to actually just sell some sleepy shapes. Probably be better. Alright, attack me. This should get me the coins enough for the info. And to think, if I just didn't buy Hammer Man, I would have been okay. I blame the badge for being so useful. Right, 65 coins, let's get out of here. If I need more money, we'll sell Sleepy Sheep. And I know I only need more money. It almost feels like I'm stalling. I'm really not. I'm just bad at, like, thinking that this would get me more money than sleep sheep. What do you have to say? Welcome to the Great Tree. By which I mean tourists are not allowed inside. Sorry. Well, that's a Poonio, all right. Look, I'm totally sorry, Mario. Poonio and those guys are the only ones I can recognize. What ha happens when I hit the heart block? You mean, it just heals me. It's like an inn that's that's scattered around and costs money. Are you trying to mess with me? Make me waste my money? All right, let's go visit Ishnail. Trying to waste more time. I'm out of water. Wouldn't dare make me waste some my money. Why would you ever suggest such a thing?
granted, buying this information is probably just a waste of money when I could just look it up. But, I don't know. That's cheating, though. It wouldn't be cheating if I actually just remembered the code, you know? That's not cheating. That's just me having a good memory. But looking it up? No, no, no. That's the cheating part. You gotta be kidding me. Am I hearing you right? I could have sworn you said you really want me to tell you how to meet Don Pianta, the scum of the earth. But I'm Mr. Insensitive Jerk. It costs you 64 coins. You, you'll pay. Really? Yes! I mean, good call. You're a shrewd businessman. 64 coins on the nose. Okay, they clean those ears out and listen here. The store next to the Bianca Parlor in the west part of town. Buy a dried mushroom, then a Dizzy Dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. Dried shroom and Dizzy Dial. You got that? Do that, and the shopkeeper will ask you what your favorite color is. Your answer, yellow. See, yellow is the password for getting into Don Scumbag's oh-so-comfy office. You got all that? Yeah. Okay, I knew I knew about the dredge room, <coughs> but it was dizzy dial, not a uh, volt room. Okay, but now I'm out of money. One coin is not enough. Actually, I wonder if I sell. Uh, what if I sell the moose cake? Hold on. Maybe I can sell something. Let's try this. Oh, you can just sell from here. Good to know. Uh, dizzy dial and coupon. There it is. Ten coins? I mean, sure, I'll sell it. I guess I'll sell a Dizzy Dial. I don't need it. Is 17 coins enough? I'm actually not sure. Seventeen, is that enough? Uh, twelve? Yeah, I can do it. Dried shroom. And dizzy dial. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Alrighty, mister. What is your... What color is your mustache? Yellow. Oops, what's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let me, let's try this again. Um, what's your favorite color? Yellow. Uh-huh. Well, you check out. You know the password. Um, so you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. You can go through the door. Go on with your, go on with your bad self. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I can't make it in there. No, never mind. Hey, this the office of Doug Pianta Syndicate. Don't tell me you don't know that. That's Vinny of the Piantas. That guy there is his brother, Tony. They're super tight. They live for their boss, seriously. They put their lives on the line for him. If you got no business here, screw la scram a lamb. That's Tony of the P Piantas. That guy there is his brother, Vinny. They're super tight. Tony's a wise guy who doesn't mind mixing it up a bit. You know, if you know what I mean. I... <laughs> What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out quick or diz is gonna hurt. <laughs> Excuse me? You want a... You want me to give you a ticket for a blimp? <laughs> See now, to me, that's funny. You're a, you are a stand-up comedian, no? You oughta be. You got some nerve asking me for that. 
I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You, you want I, you want I should run this bum out on the rail, boss? Look at him. What are you rope? What are you rope? You must be pain, funny guy. You must like pain, funny guy. You just look for, you're just looking for trouble, or what? <laughs> Not so fast, boys. I like this kid, Gumption. He just came up to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? So I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. What's that? You wanna help some broad out with... Uh, you wanna help some broad what got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, you're out collecting duck crystal stars. Duck crystal stars. Hey boss, ain't those things that... In that legend that... <laughs> about the ancient treasure? There we go. Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Fairy tales, fairy, fairy tale, nothing. The treasure's we real. Everybody, just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not. Get me? But I tell you, if I, I can't help, I can't help. But like a guy who wants to rescue some girl, he's got a, he's gone Gaga for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get my blimp. You get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? Wait, what's the favor? It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be in town somewheres. You gotta find my daughter, Frances Francesca, and this Frankie, and the and bring them both here. <laughs> if you are unable to bring them here, then all you've got to do is tell me where they are. <laughs> then I shall settle this matter quickly, and with what is known as extreme prejudice. <laughs> Boss! We don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. <laughs> yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. <laughs> Quiet, you! It's cause you lugs can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you don't say making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. I w it won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. That's the boss Dion Pianta. It's true what they say about power. This guy, this guy's got poise. But he's got a mean streak a mile wide. They call him the dawn of the untimely death. So he's got a really soft spot for his daughter, Francesca. Uh, I... It hasn't been too long since my daughter disappeared. She should be still in this town somewheres. Yeah, okay. Go on the point. If you don't find my daughter, you might. Yeah, same, same thing. Okay. Let's go find them. I think they're at the docks. Or I might be thinking ahead. Let me take a look. If they're not at the docks, they might be in the alleyway on the east side. I'm not, I don't exactly remember. Let's check the docks. So I'm assuming, I'm, I'm assuming that's where they are. Might be thinking ahead. Uh, no, here they are. That's Francesca, the Pianta. She's well-connected. Get me? Her dad's a big boss. She doesn't crave money or power or anything like that, though. She lives for love. Doesn't that sound... Doesn't that, like, totally melt your heart? People could learn from this girl. That's Francesca's boyfriend, Frankie. He's the future of Pianta Syndicate. 
Hard to believe it, isn't it? Still, he's the number two guy after Don Pianta. You'd think he'd be he'd be this tough guy, but for but Francesca has him eating out of her hand. Hey, back off, you creep! You want something, or do you just like sliding up to people? Or siding up to people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him? Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Well, I don't know, and the boat's coming any minute. Dollface, maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the bus one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do to you if we do that? Francesca, baby doll, if we could just t talk calm like with the boss, he understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, you, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie, more than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie, let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But Butter Biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the harder, hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one! Don't you see, mister? I beg you, pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? Of course. Oh, thank you, thank you! You're swell, mister. You're a real stand-up guy. So let's go tell the boss that they're there. What should we do, Mario? We at least have to tell Don Pianta something. But that stuff about our luck turning terrible doesn't sound all that appetizing. Yeah, we gotta go back and tell him something. Yeah, not much left. Man, I really wish Speedy Spin was here. <laughs> but, like, all the other buttons are being used up. That's the annoying part, isn't it? Granted, if they didn't have ZL be, uh, what you need to do sort of button, they could have made that, you know, the Speedy Spin. But no. We can't have nice things. Except when they give us nice things. <laughs> oh, look who's come back. The, the proverbial mustache. You gonna brighten my mood? So give. What you got? Do you know the, the whereabouts of these two runaways? Sure, and I'll tell you. Oh, is that, tr that a true fact? Brookport Harbor, eh? Well done. I appreciate this favor you've done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, hey, you two Nimrods. The kids are at, are at the harbor. Now, go get him! Daddy, wait! You rat us us out! <laughs> Francesca! Boss, forgive me, boss. I I'm sorry. I truly am. Frankie, so, back you come, head hung low and, and with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me! But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter. Boss, that's all I ask. No, Daddy. No, 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 no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're going to punish anyone, punish me. No, Boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All to blame right here. Daddy! Boss! Yeah. Enough! Quiet! Both of you! Francesca, my headstrong daughter. You used, you used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie. You were like a son to me. Tis how you repay your debt to Don Pianta? I feel such disappointment in you two. It's like a poison mushroom in my gut. Daddy! Boss! <laughs> don't I don't ever want to see your mugs again. You hear me? Get out of my sight. Both of you. I don't care where. Just go. That's what you expect me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go. Do whatever you want. Even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy. Dad. No, wait. I mean, boss. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you for your blessing. 
boss. I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you. She won't. She'll want for nothing. Enough already. Just go. Go. Francesca, seeing you dishappy makes me happy too. Congrats, both of you. Frankie, this is great. I mean, the way this all turned out was a bit sappy. But hey, things turned out okay. Am I right? <laughs> Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell. And thank you. Okay, we have to troll. You still here? <laughs> well, you found me daughter and got her to come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blip ticket, like I said. New deck guy's got her smiling ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Hey, I knew you were you were del I knew you were del the right man for the deal. Do the job. I can't speak. <laughs> thanks a thanks a bunch, Pally. Now go get now go on get your ugly mug out of my office. I've got some intense emotions to comp carpe compartmentalize. There we go. And we got the blimp ticket. Yay, awesome! We did it! Now we can go to Glitzville! Exactly! But we'll do that next time. While I get ready to the save block. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. Assuming I don't oversleep or have no tech issues, clearly. Sorry about that. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. Next time, we do Glitzville. One of my favorite chapters, I guess. Anyway, have a good day. Later.